Hey everyone, this is uh, Eric Dick coming at you live from Victoria, British Columbia. We are about 10 minutes to go here, nine minutes until go time. Uh, we have people starting to filter in here. We have well over a thousand people registered uh, and uh, so and only 500 slots. So I'm really excited. Hopefully, uh, if you know people that are, that are out there um, wanting to get on this webinar, make sure they know that this thing is going to fill up quick. Once, once we get going here. Uh, so make sure that if you know people that wanna be on this, reach out to them and say, yo, get on here. There's only 500 slots, we're gonna fill them up. Uh, I'm super excited here. We got tons of information that we're gonna be covering. We've got our special guests. We've got, I'm gonna be giving away my iStack training e-commerce strategy that I've employed to build uh, iStack training into seven figures. We've got the three biggest mindset shifts you need to make in order to become an all, uh, e-com all-star. And uh, we've got some fun prizes. We've got some comedy as usual. We're going to do a quick recap of ECML, our amazing event in Barcelona. Um, so yeah, in about eight minutes here, uh, we're going to give people a chance to jump on, but we will be back and coming at you soon. So for now, just chill out. Um, if, let's just get the, make sure the questions are working. Uh, oh, someone cannot see me. Uh, Jay can't see me. I bet you can now. It's all working now, eh, David? Um, and so you got your questions in here. Stop building the anticipation. No, never. I will never stop building the anticipation and stacking value. Just, just, just wait. Uh, it's good to see you too, James. Uh, if you're on the broadcast right now, if you're one of the 38 people on the broadcast, uh, shoot a, a question or a chat um, about whether you're at ECML. Who here was at ECML? I want to see a shout out of all the people who came all the way to Barcelona. I know David Hayes was there. Uh, yeah, David Hayes was totally there. Jan can see me now, that's good. Hey, Nicholas, welcome. This is funny, this is, uh, I, I, aside from doing um, you know live events and masterminds, which I just absolutely love, there's like a total rush doing those. Um, but uh, but the next biggest thing are these live webinars. I, I'm a huge Russell Brunson fan, and uh, and these live webinars, you know, following his model are just absolutely fun. I love, I love speaking over presentations. Uh, speaking with presentations, speaking with my special guests. It's like my favorite thing. It's kind of like a podcast, but with a presentation. So I'm really excited to be showing you guys some of the stuff that we've been working on and uh, provide you guys some serious value when it comes to starting up your incredible e-commerce businesses. So uh, I'm just going to hang out a little bit more here, uh, sip my coffee uh, while we wait for people to come on. So I'm going to turn off my camera quick. I'm going to turn off my mic just in case. I say something offensive, which I never do. Uh, quickly, Demetrius, you can say hey too, eh? Because you're you're on this bad boy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey, I'm excited <laughs> to be here. I'm in Greece right now. Made it. I was uh, a couple of days ago in uh, in Barcelona with uh, with Eric too for the affiliate one conferences, uh, and the ECML had an amazing time. And today I'm super, super pumped. I'm going to be sharing some great stuff uh, to hear some uh, some of the big misconceptions about uh, what people think about e-commerce, and we'll try to make uh, to break down every single little belief that you have for uh, e-commerce. And hopefully, you will uh, we will make you a believer if you are not yet, because uh, we have prepared something, some amazing stuff with the whole team uh, here and with Eric, our captain coordinating and I can't wait for the next uh, for the next one hour and a half that we will be setting some golden value with you so take right now a pen and a paper be prepared uh, close out all the distractions no Facebook messages no notifications no inside you you can you can answer uh, you can answer to your girlfriend later because what you are going to be uh, learning here today it might be really little We had a quick freeze up there. Demetrius is either asleep or frozen. Um, but can you, just to make sure, can you guys still hear me here? Are we all good? Lighting. I have the problem.
Okay, I think we had a little freezing issue there. Can you guys hear me? You got you can't you're you're you can't believe it's true, but it is true. And just confirm that you can hear me again, okay? We can hear me. Okay. Um, I had a little trouble with Dimitri's audio there, but people can hear me. Nice. Anyone else uh, at ECML here? Over here, we can hear. Nina can hear. Faith can hear. John can hear. That's good. You guys all have ears. I think we just had a little issue with um, with Dimitri's audio there. Okay. Hello, Sarver. How are you? Hey, Nabil. Uh, welcome to the webinar here. We're going to get started. We'll probably just be about five minutes late while we let people. Whoa, here we go. Here we go. It's kicking off now. Everyone's fine, Sarver. I'm pretty good. I'm a little tired. We had a, you know, this epic trip to Barcelona, which was just, uh, oh, close my Slack. You can see that right there. Um, had an epic trip to Barcelona. <laughs> it went super well, but it was extremely tiring. Uh, a lot of fun was had by by everyone. It was super good. Oh, Brienne says we can see my Slack. Not anymore. You won't get to see uh, all my all my inner workings of the company here just yet. So. Um, you like the electric grid, Nabil? Yes, this is uh, this is my podcast studio. Here, I can just do a little while you guys you guys are all on a little early, so I can just go ahead and like give you a little backstage through here. So this is where I do all my podcasts, and because this is live today, um, I don't have my green screen up. Usually, I have a green screen behind me, which just gives like a nice solid background. Uh, and uh, but because we're doing this live today, and there's no editing. Um, I just, I can't put a green screen in, in real time, so I just use what was behind it, which is this big electrical uh, transformer, which I'm sure is really good for me, right? To get all this, get all that sweet electricity pumping through me. But it gives, makes me feel excited to be here. So uh, yeah, that's what that is. It's a big electrical thing. Oh, Sarver says it's okay, good. Um, Can you guys hear me? I think I'm back. Yep, you are back. Okay, okay. We're just waiting for, for Nick to join us here too. I'm sure he's going to join us any minute. Is he? Nick, message us if you're. Make sure you log in as a teacher here or as a staff, um, so that we can make sure we can easily hand you the presentation when it's your turn. We've got a really good turnout pumping here. We got 60 people. Uh, we're really uh, hoping hoping a few more join us. If you want to give us a shout out on the questions here, give us a give us a shout out. Hope everyone is ready. Um, Wretched, how's it going? Um, nice. Okay, we are getting ready for this epic webinar. I like I was saying to the people who were here earlier, these webinars are ridiculously fun to do. It's crazy that we can just uh, you know flip a switch and broadcast directly to, to hundreds of our of our fans, hundreds of of, of the, these e-commerce uh, searchers out there. It's a very cool piece of technology. We're really excited to the, for this presentation that we put together. You know, usually I work with uh, other people's presentations, so usually I, I'm the host and I ask ask the questions. But today I'm excited to be telling you a bit more about what we do and what I've been doing, what where my expertise really lies, and to show you a little bit of the blueprint that we've used to the e-commerce blueprint that we've used to scale um, ISAC training. So we're going to give it a few more minutes here. It's 10 o'clock. We're right on time. Thanks everyone for being on time. Uh, you guys are fantastic. Again, Dimitri said it, but we want to make sure that you are ready to roll. Uh, make sure that you've got a notepad and paper. Make sure that uh, that your your all your your other tabs are closed down because this there's going to be lo lots of great knowledge shared on this. Uh, really excited for this presentation we put together. We've got Nick Peroni, Dimitri Skiatis. Um, it's going to be extremely badass. And we're going to have lots of time for questions at the end. So make sure if you have questions, um, you can write them right in there and we'll just sort of knock them off one by one. Um, got my staff just in the other room, Brianne and Angela, who did such a good job at e-commerce mastery live. They are uh, going to tell me when I'm doing something embarrassing, like showing my Slack screen um, or other, other things like that. So that's fantastic. Okay. We're up to 80. I want to get to a hundred before we start just because uh, it's just, it's all, people are coming in fast and furious now. We just started the time. Um, anyone else want to give a shout out? Tell me where you, the rest of you people are from in here. I want to see how global our audience is. Um, so in the questions, just shoot out, a, a, tell me where you're actually from. India, Romania, South Africa. Eric, are you in a crazy bunker server room? Yes, Mike. I am in my electrical uh, panel room in my office here. 
Uh, and uh, so I can turn off the, uh, should I just turn off the whole like grid for the street? Just bam, just like turn it off. That would be bad news. Uh, South Africa, oh, India, Italy, Romania, lots, a couple of Romanians, Morocco, Poland, England, France. Wow, we got Romania is a powerful, uh, a powerful place here. Nebraska, just kill it, says Mike. Okay. Oh, kill the power. That's what you're saying. Okay. We got <laughs> Fort Wayne, France, Morocco, Virginia. Oh, Vancouver. I know. I knew Mike was in Vancouver. Montreal, two Canucks. Fantastic. Canvas, Mexico, Indianapolis. Wow. A truly international bunch. Fantastic. Any, oh, we got Boston. Got a Bruins fan up in the house. As a Canadian, I have to bring everything back to hockey. All you international people, um, forgive me. It's just in my blood. I, it's like, I imagine it's like cricket in India. Uh, it's a it's a big deal. What's the big thing in Romania? What do you guys play in Romania? Shout out to Dimitri's. What about my beard, Brienne? I know it's not quite at Dimitri's level. Um, 99 attendees, 100 attendees. Okay, fantastic. What what's our time now? We are at five two minutes after ten. Let's give it at least till five minutes after ten. Let's just keep riffing here uh, on uh, on this fun thing. We got we got someone in Canada. What's ADE? Why can't I think of that? Is that like oh, somewhere in Canada? Thanks. Shout out to my beard. You play a lot of soccer in Romania, of course. Uh, Romania wants to be rich. I think that's fair. The, what are the – oh, the ECHL, the East, the East Coast Hockey League. There used to be a, a team in Victoria called the Salmon Kings, and uh, they were terrible. And their name was also terrible, but the Fort Wayne Comets sound pretty dope. Um there will be a recording of this webinar available afterwards, but there are some fantastic prizes on this webinar uh, that I'm gonna tell you about in a minute as soon as we get kicked off here. And only people who stick around to the end um, on the live webinar are able to access them. So we really want you to stick around on the actual live webinar. Uh, yeah, Jant, this is a funny story, just because we have a lot of people from India here. Uh, I'll tell you, I do, I'm one of the only Canadians who play, cr plays cricket uh, here in Victoria. There's actually a really thriving cricket league and I play like a 16 over version of cricket, which is just like a short version of cricket where you have to hit a lot. And uh, and I love it. I've been playing for like 10 years. I'm still pretty bad at it, um, but I, I have a lot of fun. It's, a, it's, a, it's my, one of my favorite sports to play. So uh, I'm the token Canadian on the team. I'm actually the only Canadian. There's lots of people from Australia and New Zealand and England and India and Pakistan. I'm the token Canadian on the team. Um, so that's that's the story. Oh, Amir wants the prizes. Oh yeah, I'm a batsman, Amir. Uh, I, I bat either uh, opening, I'm usually an opening bat or like a number five bat, but I pretty much just crash and bang. I pretty much, in a, in a 16 over game, you pretty much just have to hit all the time. Uh, we've got Ledany, is that right Ledany? From Brussels, nice, a new country. Uh, nice, we've got lots of people who love cricket. I'm a spinner. A uh, spiner, a spinner, a sp oh, I can't hit spin as a, uh, that's one thing I have a lot of trouble with. I can hit pace. If you hit it, if you, if you have a good pace in, in your bowling, I can smack it, but, uh, but not, but not much more on the spin. Okay. I think we should probably get kicked off here. We are five minutes in. Maybe I'll just give it a little few more minutes. If you guys bear with me here while we keep, you know, give me, give me some more chats here. Tell me, tell me some more stuff. Ignacio from Los Angeles. Welcome, man. You're a complete newbie. Well, you've come to the right place. That's what this webinar um, will cover. Uh, yeah, Jason Foster has been playing cricket for four years, and he is still terrible. That's just the way cricket is. It's a cruel sport. You know, you can get out on your very first ball, as you know. I've, Jason, have you ever had a golden duck? I bet you have. Um, nice. I'm on the slides. I like to watch the game. I like soccer. Soccer's pretty good. I'm more of a hockey guy when it comes to uh, teams where you're trying to score goals or games where you're trying to score goals. Hey, Violetta, welcome. Uh, never knew this webinar would be so relatable just because you got this guy talking about cricket. I don't have any good cricket e-commerce metaphors, but I'll see what I can work out. Um, uh, wait, why wait for the procrastinators? You are ready to learn. Yolanda, Yolanda, you're 100% right. Uh, and Jason has had more than a few golden ducks. Golden duck in cricket is when you get out on the very first ball and you you don't even get that ever again that day. You're done for the day, and it's cruel and unusual punishment. Uh, the server hopes to gain much knowledge from this webinar, bro. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Um, talking more about uh, the, uh, the, the hockey and the cricket. But I think we're good. We've got 120. We're holding steady here. So let's get this thing kicked off. Are you guys ready? You guys ready to kick off the all-star e-commerce webinar? 
Uh, I hope you are, because today we are covering a topic uh, that's very near and dear. Um, we are covering starting up, how to get started up, step-by-step -step strategy and execution. Um, so we just came back from e-commerce mastery live. I know a couple of you people were able to make it to e-commerce mastery live, David Hayes, a few others. We had 400 people, uh, in Barcelona, kicking it with us. We had seven amazing speakers talking, um, from everything from how to select products, how to run effective Facebook ads, how to run influencer marketing campaigns, how to run many chat acquisition campaigns. Uh, we had so much good feedback. It was the most beautiful event. Like the, the, the place we were in was absolutely beautiful. And, uh, and it was an absolute thrill to, to put this on. And uh, the people on this webinar were, were there uh, helping us out, putting it on. And, uh, and I hope if you guys get a chance to join us uh, in Bangkok in December for our next e-commerce mastery live, live event, I highly suggest that you, that you join us because it will be well worth your time, well worth your money, just, to, just for the content. And, not, and, and then on top of the content, all the people you're gonna meet, the contacts you're gonna make, and like the super like, high level of inspiration you're gonna get from attending an event like this. Um, so I, I, I hope you guys have been following what we've been doing uh, with iStack Training and e-commerce all-star secrets, which has been like the, the really long campaign that we've been building, just trying to add value to, to, to people running e-commerce. We created first, we interviewed, uh, we, we ran like a 50 question survey to five, and we got 500 full-time e-commerce experts to fill it out, which was crazy. Uh, we wrapped off a ticket to East. We had uh, our prize winner join us there for our, our uh, amazing event at our mastermind dinner. And then we used those 500 answers about you know the, the distribution strategies people were using, the product strategies people were using, the acquisition strategies people were using. And we built it into this, into this series of three infographics um, that are all available on our Facebook group. All this content that we produced, including the mini course that hopefully some of you guys have taken, it's all available on our uh, on our Facebook page, which I'll, I'll show you in a second. So we produce the infographics, we produce these amazing case studies with Greta Van Riel and Nick Shackelford, where they're talking about like really high level scaling. We did a series of six interviews with each of the all-stars, which are part of my podcast, but we were able to really dive deep on, on, on the specific topic. And then we were able to produce uh, e-commerce all-star secrets, which is a six part free mini course that covers six uh, sort of unique skill sets that you need to master if you wanna have like massive e-commerce success. Um, and, and that's what this webinar essentially is, is the first three of, of these of these units we're going to be discussing on this first webinar for e-commerce all-star secrets. Uh, if you haven't joined the group, you know, all of this content can be found on the units tab of the group. So if you look at the sidebar there, if you get on our group, if you go to units, that's where you can find all of this content um, accessible to you at all times. Um, so make sure you go join that group. We've got over 7,000 members of the group. It's been an, an awesome journey um, growing it. But uh, but yeah, so on this all-star e webinar, we are covering how to start up step-by-step -step strategy and execution for e-commerce. We've got Nick Peroni, Demetrius Skiatis. Unfortunately, Ben Malal was not able to join us for this. It's the, the perils of doing a live webinar. Um, but uh, but I'll be covering his, his, top his, his tactics, his top five have been Mostly following him for a while now. I've taken I've taken his course. I've put a lot of it into practice already, so I feel perfectly fine to to talk about uh, Ben's level. So here's the one thing. This is the one key thing I want you all to understand. If you leave this webinar and you understand this one thing, uh, I will have done my job. If you don't, I've got more work to do essentially. But here it is. The best opportunity to live your dream life is by selling physical products online, aka e-commerce. Now this doesn't mean necessarily that it's all smiles and rainbows, puppies and giggles. Uh, you know, living the e-commerce life is hard work, uh, but it is your best opportunity to live life on your own terms. Like uh, traveling around the world, meeting all these people who do e-commerce, um, the, the people who are able to get their feet wet, build e-commerce stores, and then iterate on them and build higher and higher quality e-commerce experiences. These are the people that are, that are traveling around the world, that are making great money, living life truly on their terms. They're not relying on accounts. Uh, they're not relying on um, jobs that they don't like or jobs that, that they feel trapped in. They, they're basically in, in their lives, navigating the world, you know, leveraging this amazing opportunity of e-commerce, uh, the amazing opportunity of selling physical products online. So this is the one thing I really need you to believe uh, for this webinar to be a success. You need to understand that this is the best opportunity that, that there is. 
So after this webinar, this is what you'll actually walk out of this webinar with. You'll walk out with the three key skills you'll need to build uh, a, a scalable, a sustainable e-commerce business. So not only a business that you can start and get your feet wet with, but one that you can scale and one that you can sustain over time. These are, this webinar is dedicated to the three key skill sets that you need to really jump in and, and get your feet wet. And that's why we have the three best people here to talk about it. Uh, then you need to know the three key misconceptions you need to shatter if you're going to succeed. A lot of people have ideas, uh, you know, mindsets of, about e-commerce that just aren't effective anymore. And, and it's, it's such a rapidly changing business. Uh, you need to, to really understand uh, the core strategies and principles, the mindsets. Uh, and a lot of people have these wrong, so we want to make sure we correct them, make sure that we get people started off on the right foot. So we're going to shatter these three key misconceptions. And then if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you a strategic, a strategic blueprint for the exact strategy that we recommend getting started with, with e-commerce. And I'm going to back it up with my own case study um, for uh, iStack training. And then the, the biggest thing you're going to get on this webinar, you're going to be left with after this webinar, is zero excuses. Absolutely zero excuses uh, to not start taking action to build the business that lets you live life on your own terms. Uh, we're going to show you why this is the opportunity of the generation. There are some really cool statistics I'm going to be talking about. And by the end of this, you're going to be super fired up. You're going to have zero excuses when it comes to, to starting your e-commerce business online. You all know the opportunity is there. I'm sure everyone on this, on this uh, webinar knows the opportunity is there. By the end of this, you're going to be pretty much forced into, into taking action on this e-commerce opportunity because it is so big and so massive. So this is part one, e-commerce strategy and execution. If you took our little mini chat quiz, you know that we um, broke you all down into three categories if, if we possibly could. So we wanted to know who of you were dreamers. And so dreamers, as you can imagine, don't be offended, but dreamers are people that know the opportunity is there but haven't taken action yet. They haven't started their Shopify store. They, they have some ideas. They have a niches maybe they want to target. They've probably taken a few courses. They've, they've taken a lot of free content, um, but they just haven't jumped in because they haven't felt sure enough about how to start, how to grow, um, and how to scale things. So, so those are the dreamers. Then there's the castaways. The castaways was a term we invented for the people in the middle, the people who probably started a Shopify store. They've made some sales. They've spent a little money, but they haven't been able to make it profitable. They have, they, they're, they're wondering what's left, like what, what haven't they done in order to, to, to get it to these six-figure months that you see on screenshots and stuff. So those are the castaways. They've, they, and maybe they did. Maybe they did have a six-figure month or a five-figure month, but then they weren't able to sustain it. They, they, they crashed down. And, uh, and weren't able to build a long-term business. And so they were so they're cast away in a sea of screenshots, as we like to say. Uh, and then apologies for the dabbing emoji. I can't believe I found that, but uh, there's also the experts. And these are people that have steady incomes. They're probably doing e-commerce full-time or, or, they're, or they're using it to supplement their income heavily on something that they, that they do full-time. And these people are banking on e-commerce and these people want to know how to take it to the next level. If they're doing six figures, they wanna do seven. If they're doing seven, they wanna do eight. Um, and so this particular webinar is mainly for the first two categories. Uh, if you're an expert on this panel, th on this webinar, thank you for showing up. We're gonna be covering a, a lot of the foundational mindsets and skills you need to, to know. Uh, you probably have a lot of those mastered already, but if, if you don't, um, you, there's, always, there's always room for a brush up. And like I said, there's gonna be lots of other fun stuff on this webinar that you'll wanna stick around for. Um, but part two of the webinar is on Friday. We're gonna read, we're gonna do another webinar with Muhammad, Nick, and Greta, who are all eight-figure e-commerce entrepreneurs. They're all providing the, the 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 more advanced level content on this course uh, when it comes to how to take things to the next level. And uh, we're gonna do a webinar with them on Friday. So make sure you register for that if uh, if you aren't already. Okay, and if you stick around, you're gonna get my top strategic blueprint for starting with e-commerce, including my case study. We're gonna use the we're gonna show you the same strategy we've used to grow iStack training to a seven-figure education company in one year. Um, and then at the end, it will do a, a full Q&A with myself and Dimitri and uh, and Nick. And oh, we have Nick on board now too. That's fantastic. Welcome, Nick. Um, okay, cool. This is going to be awesome. And then at the end, we're going to give over $10,000 away in bonus uh, to those who stick around to the end and take action. And this one I'm really excited about. I just told my team about this. Uh, everyone who sticks around to the very end of this webinar. So. Everyone who's around at the end, we're gonna take note of your names. Everyone who's around at the end gets one of these sweet lids. Uh, we built these for ECML. I'll tell you, we actually built them for, we, we got them made for ECML and they got stuck in customs because our because our, our company, who we won't be using again, makes great hats but didn't follow instructions and, and we ended up having all of our hats stuck in customs. Uh, so because we weren't able to get them to the people at ECML, 
everyone who sticks around to the end of this webinar, the bitter end of this webinar, we're gonna arrange to send you one of these sweet hats. We also have them in black. We could send you a black version as well, um, in case you're worried about white getting dirty. But white would be good for your cricket team, all you guys from India, and anyone who plays cricket. So you might be wondering, who is this dick? Well, it's me. I'm Eric Dick. I'm the CEO of iStack Trading. I do make a lot of dick jokes. For instance, all my picks are dick picks because they're just of me and my family and friends, and I'm a dick. Uh, there we go. I got out of the way. Hopefully, I don't have to make too many more of those. Uh, but as I said, I'm CEO of iStack Trading. Uh, I've been doing this for about a year and a half. I've been. Uh, we've created 15 courses, uh, three sold out live events, three different masterminds, uh, a full mastermind in Phuket, and then two mastermind dinners. It's been, I've done a bunch of these webinars. I've just been having the time of my life building this company, building this brand, which has been been really exciting. I think ISAC training is, is already in a year and a half, pretty well recognized as a, a high level, um, you know, info provider for, for affiliates and entrepreneurs and e-commerce people. And I'm really excited about how, that, how that's been. I've actually been in, in e-commerce or I've been in um, digital marketing for over 12 years. I started in affiliate marketing in 2006. Uh, and, I, and I started as an internal media buyer at a team and I, I've basically done all forms of affiliate marketing. I've had two of my own startups, which I've exited. Um, I've been the marketing director at a mobile company and that's how I actually got this job um, at, at iStack Training. And so I basically, when I tell you that e-commerce is the opportunity of a generation, this is because I've been doing this for 12 years and I've never seen um, a trend or, 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 a, or a kind of marketing or an opportunity for people be as big uh, and possible for as many people with as low a barrier to entry, no matter where you are in the world, than e-commerce. And I can say this because I've literally done almost every form of marketing under the sun. Uh, my superpower, uh, I'm a pretty good marketer. I, I, I love marketing and uh, it, it's a huge part of my skill set. I love creativity, I love project management, I love, I love ideation and coming up with ideas. But my real superpower is bringing people together, um, both on my podcast, uh, at our events, through our courses, the experts, the people. I love to bring people together to share valuable knowledge and advanced skills to change lives. Uh, oh, I also mentioned, hopefully you guys know my podcast as well, The Robust Marketer. If you don't, go on iTunes or Apple, uh, sorry, iTunes or, or Google Play, go on YouTube and search it so that the algorithm says, ooh, people like this podcast. It's really starting to grow. I'm gonna show you a little statistics on how much it's grown over just this year. Um, in a little bit, but uh, but it's and as you can see from these pictures here, I love holding clipboards and gesturing with my hands. It's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, and then if you look at me too, if you look at that first picture on the top left in Berlin, over to the one in December in, in the right, down to the one that I just did here in Barcelona. When I tell you we're all about personal transformation, it's partially because I lost a bunch of weight. I've lost like 20 pounds uh, over the last little while. Uh, just working my ass off and and kind of loving what I'm doing. So when I tell you that this stuff is transformational. You can you can believe it. It's not like I still got a little bit, I still got a ways to go, um, but uh, but it's been an incredible year of personal transformation. ISAC training quickly is from the family of STM and affiliate world. Affiliate world are the conferences that happen before my training day. Every day in in Barcelona, every year in Barcelona and Bangkok, there's a two day event called Affiliate World Europe and Affiliate World Asia, and then I always have the third. I put the the training day on on the third day, and Affiliate World is part of the parent company that I work for. And so uh, I'm all about leveraging the amazing speakers and the talent from Affiliate World and bringing it to the community that, that we've created with STM and with Affiliate World. We really have this like global tribe of people that follow us around to these different events. And we just have an extremely fun time. We have, an ex we have a lot of value, valuable knowledge that gets shared. Uh, STM, if you don't know, stands for Stack That Money, which is one of the original uh, affiliate marketing communities where still thousands of members are on there every day discussing uh, affiliate marketing, entrepreneurship, e-commerce at the highest level, doing follow-alongs and things like this. So we're really formed this sort of like trifecta of community and expertise, um, and we're sort of the we're definitely the the the, the industry standard when it comes to quality of community and quality of, of content. We, we we really strongly feel, and so we're I'm proud to be part of this this family that does it. So what is iStack Training? First of all, we are a platform. That's the one thing that's a little bit different from us. You know that there's a lot of gurus in this space. There's a lot of people that uh, that you know have that sell in, info products basically but the one thing that's different about us is that it, first of all it's it's all we do at iStack training we are a platform that connects uh, the world's best you know and, and current practicing teachers with uh, with students who want to learn these skills essentially from around the world so that's that's our real goal we're not a guru we're a platform in fact we have a no guru guarantee which means that we only work with teachers who make more money in their businesses 
uh, in their agencies and their e-commerce businesses in their from their campaigns than they do selling their information. Um, and so that's uh, that's one of our policies that we we stand by. The other thing we believe is the power of performance marketing. And so when I say performance marketing, you guys probably know what I mean, but essentially I mean, um, you know, there's kind of two kinds of marketing in the world. There's there's the traditional style of marketing, which is, you know, by agencies and local businesses um, uh, that basically will throw brand, will throw budget out there on TV stations or radio stations, but they don't always drive a direct response. They don't always drive a measurable action that people take in order to um, to measure the success of a campaign. And, and so much of the world's advertising is spent without a direct action uh, that's ever that's ever really required of a user. And this is changing. And it's it's it just this kind of marketing just works way better. So our goal is to help people harness the power of performance marketing to change their lives and to change the world, uh, which is something I'll get into a little bit more. Um, okay, so here's let's just set the stage here with the opportunity that we're talking about. So the big opportunity is e-commerce. So if you look at 2017 size of the e-commerce industry, we're talking three trillion dollars. That is a lot of money. That's a huge, huge pie. Um, uh, that just shows you the massive opportunity of e-commerce. But then you look at the kinds of things that people sell in e-commerce stores, so retail sales. So things like clothes, um, gadgets, uh, you know, things like that. Only 15% of e-commerce products are, are sold online. Only 15% of retail sales happen online. So there's a massive opportunity for people to, uh, to, to be jumping into e-commerce and that trend is only gonna continue. More and more people are coming online, more and more sales are happening online. So if you can learn to master some of these basic skills, you're going to put yourself in a position to grow personally and professionally. The really cool thing that we just learned in the mastermind we did at, in Barcelona is that only 1% of global CPG goods or consumer packaged goods, so things like that you buy at a grocery store essentially, only 1% of those are currently bought online. And if you think about the trends, think about how many people are going to start buying more and more consumer packaged goods online, both as services evolve like Amazon and, and things like that in order to help people with their groceries. Um, there's just a massive opportunity uh, with e-commerce and with performance marketing. So if you look at the global size of advertising in general, it's six, it's six billion or sorry, six, 600 billion, let's say $580 billion is the global size of the advertising industry. And then you look at the share that's held by performance marketing. Now performance marketing, as I said, is marketing that is always driving uh, and, and is always is, is very directly attributable. And, and essentially, the, the, the essential idea of performance marketing is you always need to make more in sales and in revenue than you spend in order to drive those sales. And that's the really simple basic principle of performance marketing. And if you look, that's only 9% of the global building. So you think about uh, the global advertising share. So you think about all the agencies in, in boardrooms and things like that. They're spending 91% of the marketing budget and they're not using the tactics that we know work better than their tactics. So if you can learn these performance marketing tactics, uh, you're going to put yourself again in, in an incredible position. So if you're able then to combine this e-commerce opportunity with the performance marketing opportunity, you literally create an exponential opportunity or what we like to call the opportunity of our generation. So, uh, you know, just, just looking at those numbers, you can see that, uh, that we're in this incredible era of opportunity. And that the other thing we like to talk about is the scrappy startup mindset. So I'm sure everyone on this webinar knows about the drop shipping phenomenon. You know that you don't have to hold inventory in order to profit. You can find, um, you can find products, you can suit them to an audience, you can come up with an angle for those products, and then you can put them on your store and just flip them from AliExpress and Oberlo using Facebook ads in a really simple process. So what we advocate always is that when you're starting out with e-commerce, you, you don't need to build a massive world-beating brand. Some of our teachers have, Greta Van Rose Van Riel, uh, started directly building a brand that she knew people would love, put a lot of money behind it and made it happen. She's four for four with doing this, so it's possible. But what we advocate is that you use low barrier to entry methods like Shopify, Oberlo, AliExpress, print on demand, the hybrid model that we're going to talk about a little bit. You use Facebook ads and because what you do is you learn the skills. You learn the skills by doing, you take action on low barrier to entry projects, like drop shipping, print on demand, the hybrid model we're going to talk about. Uh, and, and you learn the skills. So you cut your teeth by doing, and then you're able to apply these things to, to higher quality forms of e-commerce. 
uh, as you evolve. Uh, we always admi uh, advise that you build with your audience in mind, that you, you have an audience in mind and you find products that suit that audience, you find angles that speak to that audience. Um, we always advise that you give thought to both brand and community because in the long run, uh, you're going to need to have a brand, you're going to need to build a, a community around your, your, your products and content is such a huge part of building your community. So that's something we also talk about as well. And then while you're doing this, while you're art, when you're driving traffic, when you're running ads and you're picking products, you're always looking for ways to improve once you're along the way. So you don't need to start by having a distribution you know, center in the US necessarily. You don't need to start by buying inventory and holding it and shipping it out yourself, although a lot of people do. You, you can start with these simple um, kinds of e-commerce like Oberlo and AliExpress, but all the way along you should be looking for opportunities to improve your customer service, improve your advertising, improve your distribution chain. Uh, and this is the sort of scrappy startup mindset where you start uh, with, with sort of relatively simple forms of e-commerce and you evolve to, to something else. So what is the e-commerce life? You guys know this. Uh, you, you basically, this is, this is one, of my, uh, one of the guys uh, who, who owns iStack Holdings, actually Lorenzo, travels around the world, works from his laptop. So you have with the e-commerce lifestyle, an extreme amount of freedom. You can usually work from your laptop. You can work from wherever. I know a ton of people who are succeeding at a high level with e-commerce and they are literally digital nomads living from wherever they want. They just went to the running of the bulls before our event, uh, a bunch of my friends who are doing this. And you just have an extreme amount of freedom. You don't have to be at a nine to five. You don't have to be somewhere where your boss wants you to be. You're living your life on your own terms, which is why you're able to have such a high level of freedom. Again, it's not all rainbows and, and sunshine. You're going to work your butt off, but you're going to be able to do it from the most beautiful place. And when you're done, you're going to be able to go have a mojito by the pool. You're going to make money if you're operating at a high level. Uh, you're, you know, I know a lot of people making six figures a month. I know people making seven figures a month. Uh, and these people are living the life of their dreams. They're not all obsessed with materialism. Uh, a lot of them have nice cars, though, I'll tell you that. And, uh, and, and it sort of depends on who you are, what you want, but you're able to have the freedom that comes with making a really solid earning and not having your earnings capped. That's a, sort of an underrated thing as well. When you have a job and you're going to get a 2% raise a year, 5% raise a year, when inflation is probably going to be 5 to 10% over the next couple of years going the way the world is, uh, you, you can't rely on a salary necessarily to give you financial freedom at all. Um, and so that's one of the reasons that we advocate e-commerce because it, it uncaps your earning potential. You're able to make as much as you want to make. Uh, and you're, then you also get this amazing community, community that's dedicated to both good times and self-improvement. There's a shot of our 400 people at e-commerce mastery live. These people were all hungry to learn and they were all hungry to go out and party afterwards as well. And that's, that's one of my favorite things about this space are the amazing people you get to work with, how instantly you sort of get all, once you hang out with a bunch of other entrepreneurs, you sort of realize you, you think about life, you think about the world in very similar ways and it allows you to make very fast, very strong bonds with people very quickly. And some of my best friends I've made over the past year, um, just from putting myself in situations with like-minded individuals, creating community, the Facebook communities that I'm a part of every day, I get to see these people, see what they're doing uh, on Facebook. And it's a really, really awesome thing to be a part of. So we are on to the next slide here. What's going on? I'm having trouble controlling my, my mouse here. Okay, so the three keys to starting up successful e-commerce stores. Um, th these are the three skill sets that we're going to be discussing here in this webinar um, that we think with these three um, skill sets, you're, gonna, you're good to go to start your e-commerce business. Just with these three, you're going to have zero excuses to, to get started up. So the first thing you need to understand is a holistic e-commerce startup strategy. You need to know what you're going to do. You're, you need to know where you're going to find your products. You need to know what audience you're going to target. You're going to need to have some idea of, of how you're going to build brand and community around this idea. And, and so we have Nick Peroni here on this webinar to discuss this particular topic. Then of course you need Facebook ads. Facebook ads is the most important aspect of user acquisition when it comes to e-commerce. Um, I would say like we just did this panel at ECML and every one of the panelists was said that over 90% of their advertising budget was on Facebook ads. So it's not going anywhere. It's the most powerful advertising tool ever created. You need to know under, you need to understand how to use it. You need to understand that the nuts and bolts of Facebook ads are just a very actual small part of making Facebook ads work. And, uh, and the other half is, the other bigger part of it is creative, which we'll get into a little bit. I'll be covering that topic. Uh, and then we have Dimitri Skadis here to discuss key metrics and Google Analytics, which is how you have to know your numbers, how you take e-commerce from being a hobby to an actual job by really understanding your metrics. Because everything that is not creative and the nuts and bolts of Facebook is 
numbers, numbers, systematic testing, finding, you know, testing things over and over again, finding what works best and optimizing all the time towards what works. Um, so with your startup strategy, we want to be able to start quickly, flexibly, but with a long-term strategy in mind for audience, brand, and products. With Facebook ads, you want to be able to master the nuts and bolts, the levers and toggles of Facebook, but you always need to know that stories sell better than, than ads. And then you realize that after story, everything is testing and numbers. So we're about ready to jump over to Nick Peroni's presentation here. You guys probably all know Nick Peroni. He's probably helped more uh, people than anyone else get started with e-commerce. He's a seven-figure uh, entrepreneur in his own right with a string of very successful e-commerce stores. Uh, he was the first person that came to mind when it came to teaching people the essential mindset and basics that they need to understand in order to get into e-commerce. Uh, and so I want to welcome him here. You can see these are some of the testimonials. He's helped so many people. Uh, he's helped people get their first sales. He's helped the tens get their millionth sale. Uh, he has helped so many people in e-commerce. He is probably the ultimate person to be teaching um, you know, the, the entry level stuff when it, when it comes to e-commerce, all the way from um, strategy mindset, product selection, product sourcing, through to testing ads, which is why we brought him on to this course. And I'm gonna say hello, Nick. And I'm gonna I'm click here. you here. Hey, what's up, can you hear and me? I'm gonna make you. Yes, I can. I'm about to make you the presenter. Okay, but you are I'm, now okay. the presenter. But I'm using the same screen, well, right? Yeah, I can't. Here, let's see. Nick is to die for. All right. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, whoever said that. Hey, I'm still using the same screen, though, I think, right? Hold on. Let me. Uh... Yeah, but you, you just pull it up on yours. You share your screen now. You're using okay. the same presentation, but pull it up on your screen and then click the, uh, the screen icon so that you show your screen. Okay. Give me one second, guys. I will be with you. I am actually live with you right now from an undisclosed location in the Philippines, enjoying that freedom that Eric talked about. Um, really just really just having a blast out here. Uh, just got done from the event, the events in Barcelona and flew right over here to the Philippines. So it's been pretty awesome. All right. Let me let me show my screen. Um, Yeah, can we see it right now? There we go. Good to go. Let me. Okay, there we go. All right, guys, so I am loving uh, to be here right now with you. Uh, for everybody that we have on here right now and you can see everything right is or is it still loading the screen up it's still loading right now okay so let me just give an idea while it's loading what i'm what i just want to talk about for a few minutes there we go i think we can see it now uh is is really just as it says the e-commerce startup and strategy and uh, just a few of the things quickly here as part of this presentation that Eric's doing and let you know exactly uh, what it is about e-commerce that is not only such an amazing opportunity in general right now, but really for you, uh, the understanding I have of this to be able to make this extremely exciting for you. So um, the foundation for seven figures with e-commerce. What I want to talk about really quickly here, uh, and I have a screenshot here just to kind of show you a little bit of the background, because one of the things important to me, uh, as Eric mentioned, and what I'm so humbled by constantly everywhere I go is just the results I've been able to help other people get. Uh, we all, you know, it's amazing that I've been able to get my own results, and that's one of the greatest things, of course, in, in anybody's success story. But I think what's most important to you and why I really like to share other people's results is knowing that this stuff works for more than just me, right? It, it, it's not me here saying that, oh, I've been able to do this or that. It's me here saying that these principles and these things that we talk about have been able to help other people. And there's all this social proof out there of other people that have been able to use this information to be able to get, get not only the start from first sales and finding that that first success of being able to make a little bit of money and prove that this is possible, but all the way to seven figure. I mean, this year is almost $2 million uh, in, in a single year. 
um, from from being able to learn and master this kind of stuff. Uh, as you can see, the shout out here that I'm getting for the tutorials that I've built uh, and the foundation that I've really helped people master. And for me, it comes down to four main pieces. All right. Number one, understanding your business model. OK. And, and really looking at uh, what type of business are you building with Shopify? All right, this is extremely important because this is the foundation of everything that you do. When you look at people out there that are getting a lot of success and hitting big numbers, there's a reason for it. It's not it's not just random, right? So your business model from the start, what kind of stuff are you selling? Um, how does drop shipping work as a business? How does print on demand work? How are you combining these types of things to form uh, the right business and that you're going to be making your money with Shopify, that's step number one. And then two, looking at the store structure, okay, having something really specific in place where you're not only just randomly putting a store together, right? There's a lot of specific strategies and use uh, when you're building a store, okay? And this is one of the biggest things I think people miss is the idea of exactly what you're doing in the way that you present yourselves to online shoppers. All right, it's a huge, huge industry. There are millions of stores out there. And without taking the right steps, without using the right tactics uh, and strategies on the way that you're presenting yourself, you're not going to stand out in a crowd. And so there's some really specific things that we do uh, once we figure out what type of business we're running to build the type of store and have a really nice structure that is going to convert people and is going to give you that foundation of being able to scale. Brand identity, of course. Branding right now, I think, is one of the most misunderstood things in e-commerce. Uh, you hear it. It's a buzzword. People talk about it, but a lot of people don't understand it. And it's one of the reasons that e-commerce right now is like it's such a great opportunity, but so many people don't really know how to translate that. Uh, being able to create a brand identity, whether you are drop shipping or doing print on demand or private labeling, like it's a brand translates to all of those things. And so really looking at um, the best practices of building a brand are definitely important. And then finally, marketing strategy. You're going to get a lot of that. You're going to hear Eric talk about all the amazing speakers and uh, people that are part of this uh, entire become all star and these secrets that we're sharing that go into marketing strategy. But, you know, you really need to have something specific, right? A lot of people just get started and it's like, let me throw some products up and let me just put some things together uh, and not having a specific intention of what you're doing. So I really look at these four things together. Uh, and for those of you that saw my free mini course video already, you know that I talked about some of this. And this is this is it right here. And like a lot of you guys might be looking at this and you're like, okay, business models, you know, brand, I've heard of this stuff. But it's really more about understanding it. Because when you see screenshots like this and you see people that are that are thanking me and they're like they're getting these results, I'm telling you that it comes down to really understanding these types of things and really knowing exactly what it is that you're doing from the very beginning. So one uh, big misconception with e-com that I want to shatter right now for everybody, and this was so important for me to talk about because I run a group of over 62,000 people right now, and I see this question getting, you know, people just struggle with it, right? Uh, and the idea that you're hearing out there that drop shipping doesn't work anymore, or that it's too difficult to be a profitable business model this year and beyond, okay? And I, I am here to tell you that that is 100% absolutely wrong. Drop shipping, the misconception that so many people have, drop shipping is just a business model, okay? It's not like this scheme. It's not like this uh, this idea of, oh, you know, making money by selling products from China or this and that. Dropshipping is simply a model where you are arbitraging third party products from a wholesale supplier and you are using a platform like Shopify to sell them to people all around the world or locally in your market or wherever. Right. And as a business model, dropshipping has been around for decades. All right. And it's not going anywhere. There are so many ways that you can drop ship products and so many different types of suppliers that you can use in fulfillment solutions. Drop shipping is 
uh, such a great opportunity now as much as ever. All right. And I, like I said, I travel the world. For those of you that, that don't know about Ecom Empires and what I do, uh, I do masterminds all over the world. I speak at events. And so I, I meet entrepreneurs. I have a network that is over 60,000 people at this point from people just getting started to people who are crushing it and doing, you know, eight figures and even nine figures a year in their business. So I've seen it all. And there are still people that are still getting started with drop shipping and being successful when they have the right strategy and they know what they're doing. Uh, and so this is what happens right here with the right foundation, just a little bit more proof and awareness to you guys. So you can see the type of conversations I'm having and the type of impact this this type of information is having with people. Uh, this is from my messenger. This is, um, of course, some of it is sensitive here, so it's blurred out because not everybody wants to, not everybody wants people to know that they're crushing it. But they tell me uh, when I've been able to help have an impact and I've been able to change their life. Uh, and so this is somebody who is having an eighty thousand dollar a week. All right. Uh, and you can see there they're saying thanks to you. You took my hand and told me after this course. Uh, which they're referencing a course that I made part of Ecom Empires. After this course, you'll be a master in Facebook ads and your course was the right foundation. All right. That's the key part that I want to distinguish right there. The word that he chose to use foundation, the right foundation to be able to grow and understand and have an $80,000 a week with Shopify. That's what we're talking about here. That's what I really want to bring to this is, is giving you that foundation and understanding that this is not just low level stuff. Some people sometimes think like, oh, when you're talking about, you know, this and that business model structure, identity, like, you know, but th like this is high level stuff here that we're talking about that builds seven figure businesses, that helps people crush out $80,000 in a week. That's a, that's a high salary that only some people like, you know, less than 20% of people in America even make to be able to crush out $80,000 in a week in sales is insane. Uh, and then if that's not enough, I want to give you one more here with somebody who doesn't mind uh, being shared, Jad Kantari. Uh, and you can see here, now you can't see the very top of that, but this is a daily screenshot, $47,000 in a day in a single day and then you can see at the bottom it's saying your course was the turning point much love i appreciate it nick so i just want to help bring some awareness to the fact that drop shipping is still this is recent by the way this this screenshot uh is very recent and i just want to bring your awareness to the fact that this is still a great opportunity it's still amazing and really to the idea of anybody that's here watching this and and thinking about this and just like in this moment right now asking yourself like what what if this is the turning point for you right now what if this webinar what you're watching could be the turning point just like Jad is telling me in this messenger that when he first discovered my course that it was the turning point to him being able to hit $48,000 in a day with Shopify, right? What if that is this turning point for you right now? That's what's so exciting about this opportunity. What Eric talks about this being the opportunity of a generation, I 100% and I'm on board with that. And that's why I was so thrilled to be part of this because I am constantly getting messages like this, seeing how it changes people's lives by having the right foundation, by hitting the right breakthroughs, by having the right turning points. So I'm really happy to be part of this. Uh, I don't want to take up too much time because I know we also got to get Demetrius on here and Ben on here and it's just a ton of great info that Eric has to share. So um, thank you for listening, guys. I just wanted to share that with you. I'm really excited about this. Nice. Yeah. Thanks so much, Nick. Um, really cool to see some of those results. And this, it's funny, you talk about this, this strategy that, 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 we, that you, you know, we recommend people start with. And then after um, Ben's presentation, which I'll be doing, and Dimitri uh, will give you this strategy that we sort of are, you know, obviously it's not a, it's not the, the it's not a bulletproof strategy. We're not going to give you, you know, it's, it's not a hundred percent, but it's a strategy that is a great way to get started and a great way that's going to allow you to build your skills. And we'll tell you exactly how to do it right after both of these presentations. So Nick, if you can hand back my uh, presentation ability, I think that's good there. Yeah, I just stop. Okay, Let perfect. Me, uh, okay. And I think I'm good now. So I can show my screen. 
Uh, you even made the presenter show on my screen. Perfect. Awesome. Then I will go to my screen right here. And we will get into. Okay, so Ben Malal is you know living the e-commerce lifestyle right now, uh, which is why he couldn't make it on this presentation. You guys can all see my screen now. Okay, awesome. Um, so that's good. So um, where do we go here? Right there, Ben Malal. So Ben Malal, when I was looking for someone to handle the Facebook aspect of of our course and our project, Ben Malal was an obvious choice. The guy. Uh, has been on the news multiple times talking about Facebook's al algorithm. He's sort of like a, a nationally recognized expert on Facebook ads. He's taught thousands of people how to get these kind of results on Facebook ads. You can see um, he's, he's got a Facebook course that, that, he, that he made, I think, last year, I think, um, that, that has just helped a ton of people um, get their feet wet with Facebook, wet, he, or Facebook ads. He really understands the nuts and bolts of how to set up your campaigns, how to optimize your campaigns. But before that, he has a really strong understanding of what needs to happen before you ever even log into Facebook with how you story tell about your products. And that's what we're going to talk about today just a little bit. Um, so, uh, okay, so let's start Let's, let's start on the 90-10 rule. So basically, like I said, when I interviewed like the Tans and Tim Bird and um, all, all the top experts on, on Facebook ads, on e-commerce, 90% or every one of them spent over 90 or over percent of all their advertising budget on Facebook. So it's super important. Uh, and, and, and so, but then within Facebook ads, we like to say it's probably 90% about the product and the story, the products that you pick and the story that you tell about them, how you frame them, how you build your creatives so that you get people to stop and actually uh, view your ads. This is the most key part about Facebook ads that kind of people don't talk about. It's easy to talk about, okay, you need to have this, um, campaign naming structure. You need to have, here's how you should be optimizing. You should optimize first on engagement and then add to cart and then purchase as you build up your, your audiences. Here's what the size of your budget should be. Um, and we'll just cover a few of these, these top line things from, from Ben's presentation. But really, 90% uh, is, is how you, you pitch your product and your story. 10% are the nuts and bolts. And then when it comes to the nuts and bolts, the, the real secret to Facebook ads and the secrets to all forms of marketing. We can't, I come from this affiliate world uh, where essentially you're really just, you have less control of your product than you even do with e-commerce, where you're really just arbitraging attention. You're basically paying people to come on your website, you're paying Google to bring people to your website, and then you hope enough people do enough actions to pay for the traffic uh, that, that, you, that you brought them there with. And, and so when, that, when it comes to that, there's nothing that is a substitute for mass systematic testing. It's not the most sexy thing always. Demetrius is gonna get uh, more into, into numbers and why they're so important. But obviously, the only way you're really gonna be able to build a, a, an incredible e-commerce business is by testing a lot of things, testing a lot of audiences. And what we're gonna give you, what this course gives you, is the structure that you're gonna be using for all this testing. How to do it in the most efficient way possible. How to look at your Facebook ads and know that you're hitting every uh, ad group, every interest that you need to, and you're gonna have all your creatives lined up in the right way, your budget's tight, and then you'll be able to see when something jumps out at you, when you've set your pixel up right, you've set your ads up right, you've set your campaigns up right, you'll all of a sudden see, oh, that ad group right there, that ad group is making 3X return on my ad spend, time to scale that ad group. So, uh, but but it really, you're only gonna get that by doing mass systematic testing, and that's what that's what all of our lessons kind of kind of teach you how to do. So when it comes to optimization, you want to optimize on purchase whenever possible. That's kind of a no-brainer. That, that's the top-line learning I want you to take from optimization. Whenever possible, you want to tell the Facebook uh, pixel when, a pixel when a purchase has occurred and optimize towards that. And there's some ways that you can build up to that It's because you, you can't, won't be able to optimize on purchases right away until you have some. Um, but essentially, you always want to focus on purchases. Uh, when it comes to setting ad set budgets, a good rule of thumb is CPA times three. This is something to, to note. Uh, that, so say you're selling a product uh, that is uh, $10, and for you to make money on it in the in the long run for your LTV, you need to be making uh, you need to be selling it for $6. So that makes your CPA $6. That's your target CPA that you need to sell that product for. And then so a good testing budget for an ad set would be $18 on the low end uh, when you're testing different ad sets. Ad sets are where you put all your different kind of targeting, uh, and your targeting is your audience. Uh, and so you so you essentially you create a group of interests that you're interested in targeting. Uh, and then you aim to build up an audience size that's between one and three million people and test it with a, um, a budget that is of around 
three times your target CPA and you're able to, and, and test as many of these as you can. You're going to have to stack interests on top of each other in, in, in a lot of cases in order to get those audience sizes, but you really want your audience sizes big enough so that Facebook can really search for your exact audience members within each of them. Then location. I know, you know, when I first started Facebook advertising, especially for, for uh, ISAC training right out of the gate, I was throwing up ads and, and, and it took me about a week before I realized I was getting amazingly cheap clicks, but they were all from countries where nobody bought my product. Uh, Nepal, I don't know if anyone here is from Nepal, but uh, we had a ton of people from Nepal uh, on my original advertising campaign. So what we do now, and it's something Ben advocates as well, is you break your campaigns into two tiers. You target your top five geos by either by GDP, uh, which is where, where people are, are, are making, you know, countries that are making the most money, or if you already know where your target market is, to break it down into your top five places. And then your second tier would be your second top 25, either GDP countries or countries where you know your sales are coming from. Make sure that you're targeting groups uh, within countries that you know where people are going to buy your products. Or, or if not, start with these GDP uh, countries because they're the ones that are most likely to make online purchases. Um, and then your ad. Your ad is the most important part of, of your Facebook campaign. We'll talk about that uh, a little bit more here. Um, so you want to make sure that you are selling your product, uh, sorry, your story of your product and not necessarily the product itself. People don't buy products, they buy the stories they play in their heads when you advertise their product. They think about, they, 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 you have to hit people not just with, here, this product will, you need this product. It's, you need this product because it's going to make your life better in the following ways. Or, even more powerful, it's going to prevent this really bad thing from happening, which is an example we're about to show. Um, people buy the stories that they tell about products. They buy the transformation that they will undergo by buying this product, not the product itself. So you always need to think about like what's behind the product, which is why you need to have angles for the things that you sell. Uh, okay, so here's an example right here. We've got an LED dog collar. Uh, the first one on the on the left here, it offers right off the bat a 50% uh, coupon and just shows a picture of it and says here, buy it. There's, there's a little scarcity aspect. There's only 250 left. Um, and then the one on the right, starts with over eight, over six million dogs were killed last year. Dog car accidents or car accidents are very scary and very real. So it starts right off the bay, uh, right off the, the, the front with a very emotional, very uh, you know, fear-based uh, call out that essentially allows people to, uh, to make sure that their, that their story is inspiring or that their story grabs people um, by the throat and lets them know that this product is going to solve a problem in their life. Even a problem that they don't have, a problem that they might have in the future, this product will solve it. And so instead of just advertising the product, you advertise a story behind the product or an angle into that product. And whenever you think about products, whenever you scan over um, competitive research, intelligence, when it comes to, to driving to, or, or running new products, make sure you're always thinking about the story behind the product, the angles into that product that can resonate with your audience. Uh, and that, that's a super important key. So Facebook Mastery, we don't need to dwell on this too much. Obviously, Facebook is how everyone who's driving huge amount of sales is doing most of it. Um, and so when you do master Facebook ads for e-commerce, you can expect to drive tens of thousands of dollars a week per day, in some cases, six figures a month and more. Because when you find a product that works, when you find one of those ad groups, uh, those ad sets, essentially, that has a positive return on ad spend, uh, your ability, especially if you're if you've done what we said and build your audiences to between one and three million, your ability to scale into that audience goes up massively. So when you can build out an enterprise where you're testing products at scale, targeting them to the correct audiences, building ads that those that resonate with those audiences, the potential is nearly unbridled. Uh, you, you look at Nick Shackelford's case study that he did with us, where they scaled four million dollars in sales on one million dollar ad spend over only thirty days which is absolutely ludicrous. He did that with a great product, product called Pup Socks, which again, into the pet market, plays on people's love for their pets, allows them to upload a picture dog on a box. They did $4 million in revenue on 30 days on only $1 million spent with a 400% a, a return on ad spend four times, which is just absolutely amazing. Um, okay, great. So now we're on to Demetrius. I'm about to make Demetrius the, uh, the presenter here. But first of all, you need to know Demetrius is just a longtime e-commerce expert. He's sort of the expert to the experts in a lot of ways. Uh, you look at this quote here from Don Wilson, who's an absolute legend in the space here. He's consulted with Demetrius and just gotten amazing results from him. A lot of people, uh, Demetrius is, is sort of like the numbers whisperer. He's able to look at stores and see all the money that people have sitting on the table because they're not paying enough attention to their key metrics. And so he's here to talk about why 
beyond creative, numbers are everything and definitely very sexy. So I am gonna go ahead and make Demetrius the presenter. Welcome to the webinar. Dimitri, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Let, let me open my mic. Let me open my camera, show my screen, show the cursor. Oh. Yes, I think that you can see me right now. You, you can see my screen. Let me go uh, full mode here. Awesome. You good Presenting. to go. You know what? What's a funny story that uh, even even we are you know we are working together with Nick with Ben. It's really really important to always remain a student and learn from each other. So one of the th one of the things that you need to know about me is that I always like to remain a student. And th thank you very much, Eric, for the awesome introduction. But always, 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 I like to remain student. So even when Nick was talking, even for the things you, as you said about the bench part, about the Facebook ads, we always need to keep our eyes really, really open. And what are the things that we, what are the new things that we need to learn and obviously implement? So a little things about me. I'm really a numbers guy, but uh, I wasn't always like that. I wasn't always like that. One thing that really help me realize why numbers are really, really important is the power is when I go to understand that numbers are everything. And I have this misconception where I said to myself, you know, uh, Google Analytics is not sexy, Google Analytics is, not, is boring, but Google Analytics, and that's a bold statement, this is the only way to know exactly where your traffic is coming from, where your users are coming from, who is buying, who is not buying, where do you have the leak in your funnel? And I'll tell you one really, really bold statement right now, and I stand 100% behind that. If you don't know your numbers, you don't have a business. You have a hobby. And that comes from a man when I had, when I was in my days where I was working as an, as an assistant accountant. Uh, I really, really hated every nanosecond of that business. You know, I had a really bad boss. He was screaming at me. And uh, he was always complaining about something, but this is the number one thing he, he taught me. And that was way back in 2010, if I recall uh, correctly, what he always said that I was looking at the site, oh, like this year we made $2.1 million and you see that we had a really, really big loss. So numbers is everything. And one really great tool that I stand 100% behind is Google Analytics. And everybody is intimidated by Google Analytics. Everybody says, oh, shit, man, like I open this up and I don't know where to look, like it's frightening. And, you know, they turn it out to me. But I'll tell you one thing. You might see majority of the people have, 90% of the people I talk, they have Google Analytics installed, but only a 25 to 30% are actually doing something with the numbers. And I will try to help you think that a little bit today in this webinar but also we have created this awesome mini course uh, where i think it's a lot, around 30 35 minutes long where i get to help you on how to get started how to install analytics which are the most important metrics so i highly suggest that you go ahead and see all the mini course from uh, the mini course from nick peroni starting from nick getting down to ben malol then i will get to show you how to install analytics and then you can take it with the other guys uh mohammed ali agel greta and nick sackleford where you will have uh, a really, really, uh, a, a really, really crazy system, overall e-commerce system to get started. I'll tell you one thing. Inside Google Analytics, you see boring numbers. I see money making opportunities. And people say that analytics is not sexy. OK, I agree. But you know what is sexy? Making money. Making money is super sexy. And I don't know if there is anyone right here in the room who doesn't want to make money. So uh, is there someone here that thinks that they want to make, they want to be making money, more money by the power of Google Analytics. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the, let me know right here if, he, if I can see. All right, all right, yeah, we got, I see some excitement over here. So let me tell you really, really quickly what are the things that you need to do. First of all, install Google Analytics. It's really, really easy to do. And I have, uh, there are free step by step videos inside the, uh, the mini course. You need to enable enhanced e-commerce reporting because you will be able to see way more data about how people, how many are people are at this card, but they don't buy. 
how many people are starting the uh, checkout process, but they don't buy. You see, where is the leak in your funnel? Where are people are dropping off? And let the data roll, okay? Depending on what is the amount of traffic that you are sending, okay, you might need from one, two days up to a month, okay? Typical in, in about a week, if you don't have at all data right now, typically, in about a week, you will be start. Uh, you will be start having a good picture of how your uh, how your store looks like. And I'll tell you two, three little tips over here that you can apply today. Okay. So the biggest thing that you can do that you can see is the average page load time. And it's really really crazy because as being as been talking as I have been talking with a lot of people, I've seen a lot of stores, I've seen a lot of numbers. People are always, majority of the people, uh, people are always complaining. Why it doesn't work and Facebook ads suck uh, and it doesn't work and the product suck. No, the Facebook ads don't suck. Your product doesn't suck. The, you know what sucks? Your average page load time. I see so many people complaining and I go inside their data and it takes them like 10 seconds for your page load. How many of you would you, would you wait for 10, 12, 15 seconds? I've seen some crazy numbers like, 40 seconds for a page to load. I say, what the heck do you do? And they, they are like, oh man, for me, it loads really, really quickly. Yeah, because for you, when you're entering, every, entering your store every single day, the, the Google has cast majority of your page so it loads quicker. But that's not the case for all users in the world. So I gotta tell you one thing. If it takes more than four seconds to load, four seconds, okay, you just lost 50% of the users. What does that mean? If you're spending $100 per day, you just spend $50 out like that, out in the window. So make sure that you go inside your Google Analytics and see your what is your average page load time. Again, don't expect to show you everything here because we have the mini course where we explain step by step and the mini course is 100% free. The other thing that I see here, the bounce rate, and the bounce rate is how quickly someone bounces off your website as soon as they see it. I go inside the store and say, oh man, Facebook ads don't work and Facebook ads is shit. No, Facebook ads work great, okay? If I go inside and I see bounce rate 80%, the high is the bounce rate the worst. So 80% bounce rate, it really means that if you spend 100 bucks, okay, from the remaining people who will get to see actually land in your website, 80% of the people just go away right away because it takes so much time to load or it did load and your and your your whole site does not breathe authority does not breathe trustworthiness okay so it literally sp means that you spend that you are giving money out to uh, to facebook you're making mark zuckerberg really really uh, richer but you're not getting back that money if you need to work on i won't even get to get down on other things but if you really get to work on those two things, your average space load time and the bounce rate, I can guarantee you right now, and I put my sign under that, okay, that you will make back a lot of money that you're spending right now. The next thing, you will get to understand who is your ideal customer, okay? Where does he or she live? Really, really easy, easy to go. You go inside Google Analytics, audience, geo, location, and this is the exact path. And I'll tell you one really, really big misconception. Everybody is like, oh yeah, I'm targeting the, the United States. Man, the United States is three, literally 300 million people. Even if one third of those people, which is more, uh, is on the United States, even, you, even if you have $500 per day at budget, $1,000 per day, you cannot get all that audience right away. Okay, so you need to get to understand if you go inside audience geolocation, if you say, if you target the whole United States, you will see which are the states that are working best for you. So you might understand that, okay, I'm doing a good job in California, but in Colorado, not so much. So you might wanna start doing your ad sets based on specific states. If you wanna take it on a step further, you can even see specific cities. Okay, next thing that you can do, let me move on the slide here. Is she the man or is she a woman? Okay, how old is he or she? You can go inside audience demographics over you. This is the path to Google Analytics and see who are you selling to. Okay, I had I have done this uh, this mistake myself too, where I had the misconception that I was saying, mm, oh no, man, this yoga product is uh, being sold from women 25 to 34, and you could see that our best-selling audience were indeed women, but they're women over 45. So if you don't really know your numbers, if you don't really know who you're targeting, 
It's like you're throwing money out of the window. Next thing, does he use his mobile phone or he's visiting from a computer? You're going to go into audience mobile overview and see which are people are using. Majority of you are using the, uh, the mobile, uh, mobile ads right now. You're targeting on your mobile, and this is working really good. But you know, you're leaving so much money on the table because there will always, 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 even if it's a slight 15, 20%, there will always be people that use and visit your website uh, through their desktop. So you want to see where are your site, uh, where are your site visitors are visiting you, and you want to make it really easy for them, really, really, really easy for them to buy. If it's mobile, which specific device are they using? You go to audience, you go mobile, you go to devices. And this is one of the big misconceptions too. Okay, we all think, oh, iPhone, Apple iPhone, man, or Apple iPad. It's not like that. I can guarantee you that there are specific products, specific stores, specific niches that the Android devices, or even more specifically, like the Samsung Galaxy S7 or S8 or whatever that uh, specific device is, is working great. Next thing that you can do, we are talking about AOV, and we're going to be talking about that a lot inside the, uh, the main course too. Let's say that you have, on average, a ten to twenty dollar average order value. What would happen if you could take that to double uh, double that amount easily and get that into forty dollars? There are literally so many things that you can do. One of them is by using an actual app that you can upsell people and you can increase your uh, your average order value. You can use bundles. You can give out incentives for people increasing the or average order value by giving away free shipping if they get to spend uh, more than 75 or 100 bucks. It's crazy, but people will spend more in order to save more. And there are so many tricks that you can do. The conversion rate. Let's say that 100 people are visiting your website, okay, and 1% buys. What would happen if you can make a small tweaks by uh, fixing, and everything is relatable, okay? The speed is relatable, the bounce rate is relatable, the upsells are relatable, the pricing, the shipping, okay? What if we could make some small tweaks to make it double that, to take it to 2%, 2%? It literally means that you just double the amount of money that you are making. So there are so many things that you can do and you don't have to complicate it. And I like to shatter the biggest e-com misconception and it's about Google Analytics. I'm a Google Analytics guy. I'm the numbers guy. I always like about, uh, I like, uh, I'll, I'll always like the numbers, but there were so many people, me including in the beginning, where I said, man, Google Analytics is boring. Who really loves spending time inside a dashboard, something that looks like an endless Google sheet full of numbers? It's boring. Or I hear so many people uh, say, come up to me and say at events, uh, even now in Barcelona, there's, there's a guy told me, Hey, dude, I know that you are the Google Analytics guy, but every time I log into there, uh, like I feel lost. I don't know where to start. I, I don't know where to, what am I looking for? And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to shatter this big misconception right now. This is wrong because you, as I proved you right now, you just need to know where to look and you don't need to look everywhere. Okay, even me, it's my business. This is what I do for a living, teaching others, training others, consulting others, but you don't need to know everything about analytics. You just need to know exactly where to look. And this is the biggest thing, what happens when you know exactly where to go. You see here, this guy owes by using this guy over here, who was able to go to 41,000 in the first seven days, just with just a little simple tip, I taught him about geoscale. You see this guy here, Olaf, he was making some really, really good numbers. He was making up around two grand per day, and he was able to scale to uh, 15 to 17K per, per day with a 5K ad spend simply because I showed him step by step what to look for inside this number. Here's another guy, Hui, because I don't always like to show you stuff that people are already making money. So here's Hui, who is uh, from a country, he's from Vietnam, where uh, people don't have access into a lot of things. So he literally got started from zero, zero dollars per day. And you see, he said, I break $5,000, okay, in a day with a brand new store. And after day, after 30 days, look at that. Today is 30 days of my store and I'm in five figures club. You see that today, $10,000.
is, it's not impossible to happen if you know exactly what you're looking for. And not only with analytics, this is a whole e-commerce system. And personally, my favorite of all, meet Ismail. So this, is, this was a guy who literally, and he says it right here, this all started six months ago when I sold my PlayStation 4 and TV to buy the course. Okay, so he got started with the course, but the course can be only the 1%. 99% was really hard work, dedication, and this is what he says, he's my favorite, let's say, case study, because he had nothing to lose and he started working. Okay, he started realizing that Google Analytics and actually know your numbers with finding, be really good at Facebook ads, plus having the right offer, the right angle in your product can make you miracle, guys. Okay, not everybody is going to be making million dollars, but I can guarantee you right now, we have people all over the world, how $58,000 could change your life. I didn't do, I, I wasn't making that money in a whole year. I used to make in a whole year 18,000, okay? And Greece is, is kind of a country where it's not the worst, but it's not the, be the, the best either. So even when you start small and you know what you're looking for, you can turn things around. So I hope that I really, really changed your misconception about, about Google Analytics and we shattered some big of those beliefs. Let me bring that back to Eric. Let me see how I can do that. Okay, I'll nice. make presenter Thank ready. you, Demetrius. I just, speaking, I just was, um, before this presentation, show my screen here, I was just looking at um, Reddit right before this, and it, I, you can't really see this, maybe, but it basically shows that in 1977, the, medium in, the median income in the United States was $34,000, and the median income in 2016 was $34,000, uh, whereas the price of bread in 1977 was $0.32, cents, and the price of bread now is 2 bucks. So everything is getting more expensive in the world, but wages in the traditional systems of wage earning are not going up. So this kind of shows us that we uh, th that that's one of the main reasons that e-commerce is such an incredible opportunity for people. You might uh, want to close your Slack, Eric. You might. We are seeing your Slack. We are we seeing all the, all the secrets here. <laughs> all the secrets. Okay. I can't give away all the secrets. I think we should be good to go now. Okay, um, good. Okay, so we'll go through your presentation. Okay, we got to get through the rest of this pretty quick here, but I wanted to share. The blueprint that I, it's funny, I learned this from Nick, uh, Nick Peroni's mini course and from his main course. Uh, and it's I, it's funny, I, I looked at what we're doing at iStack Training and it's actually the same strategy. So I was going to articulate what iStack Training strategy has been in the e-commerce space. Um, and, and it's sort of very similar to, to what Nick uh, and others that I know advocate. So what we advocate is, is focusing on a passion niche, understanding your audience, finding an audience that has a passion, doing competitive analysis on other people that are already operating in that space, and then leveraging what we call a hybrid product or distribution model in order to serve that audience multiple products until you can really find what they're into and what they like. So this is my personal e-commerce start, 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 startup strategy that we used with uh, iStack Training. So when I say hybrid, um, oh, let's first start with passion niches. So here, here, here are some things. Uh, that make good direct response passion niches. So passions are things that people use to build their identities. And ideally, they're things that are also targetable by Facebook ads. So when you're thinking of what kind of passion niches you might be interested in, in building your store around, it's always good to jump into Facebook ads and just check as to what kind of audiences you can build around these around these groups of people. So you know, you fitness, family, hobbies, work, Within fitness, you've got things like keto. That's one that I'm interested in. I, I've actually lost 20 pounds doing this uh, keto thing where I eat high fat and low sugar, and uh, and it's really helped me lose weight. It's something I think you know I think there's a lot there's some really interesting cultures around keto, really interesting communities around keto that I think it's just waiting for a great e-commerce store to pop up around this thing. CrossFit, body hacking, going to the gym, self improvement, all of these things are are things that people love to define themselves by. They love to um, yeah, essentially that's what they love to sort of like value signal. Like I'm this kind of person, I do keto, I go to the gym, and you're able to build things around things that people are passionate about. Things like newlyweds, things like grandparents. Think of all the, the old people online, which I know a lot of businesses are based on marketing to people over the age of 60. And these people are one of the fastest adopters of the internet at this point. As the boomers age, 
uh, they're, they're getting more and more online and they're becoming a more addressable audience. So if you can find a product that they'll love, a product uh, that they're gonna buy for their grandchildren, they are gonna be thrilled about it. So really think about these kinds of things, things that are really strong direct response niches, like bow hunting. That's one that I kept coming up through again and again. People are really into bow hunting, maybe through Joe Rogan, because he talks about it all the time. Uh, cooking or grilling specifically for, for the summer travel, yoga, meditation, all things are, are things that people love to, to, to build their identity with. And those are things that you can build community and you can build content around and you can create products that people love uh, in a hybrid fashion. Within work, you've got entrepreneurship, marketers, e-commerce people, um, teachers, firefighters, nurses, all these things are things that people are passionate about that they like to build their identities with. Now, when I say hybrid model, I'm talking about not a lot of people will just start up and they'll they'll just start a general store selling AliExpress products, trying to find tr trending products and work. And that's that's one way to make it happen. But what we advocate is that people employ a hybrid model because when you focus on the niche first and you have your audience, you have things that this audience is interested in, then you can come up with a whole range of products. You can do AliExpress. You can find the products that fit that niche and that you can find angles in to serve them to that niche. You can also use print on demand products to say, hey, I love my grandkids or I love um, I love cricket, as a lot of people on this webinar do, or, or things that, uh, you know, things that people are passionate about. You can build those into print on demand. You can create e-learning products. You can go on to clickbank.com, which is a, a website for e-learning products. You can find e-learning products that fit your niche and you can add them as upsells to the products that you sell. You can add them on your store. You can create your own e-learning products. I've shown. Uh, within a year, we've created 14 different courses here. You can create your own e-learning products. And I love that the trend of people using e-learning products in order to upsell um, you know, use cases, basically telling people how to buy products that they use, how to get the most value out of various products that they've, that they've um, used. And so that way, by selling um, AliExpress things, where you use simple like Oberlo plugins in order to, to, to arbitrage products, uh, combining them with print-on-demand type things, uh, combining them with e-products, you can create a, a store that serves a niche but has a hybrid approach to the kind of products you sell. And then within that, when you find winning products, then you have the opportunity to white label specific products, to build brands potentially on your winning products. Uh, and it just gives you those learnings and the diversity of product that allows you to go in and find the stuff that's really working and scale it. So here's a little bit that we did from our, our expert survey. I hope a lot of you guys had a chance to check out the expert survey. Um, here's here, here's what we what we were able to show people who employ this hybrid model of product and distribution that in, in, involves drop shipping, um, uh, e-products, branded products, uh, print on demand. The people that were that were leveraging this hybrid affiliate model or this hybrid model made by far the most, on average, almost one hundred and thirty thousand dollars a month. The people that were doing this hybrid model, more so, a lot more so than the people who were just doing AliExpress products. So we want you to have a diverse mindset when it comes to the kind of products you're gonna to sell to your niche audience. Um, then once you have a niche and you have some product ideas, go and find what you know who in this space is running it already. Use similarweb.com, which is an incredibly tool, incredible tool for uh, reverse engineering tactics and strategies of stores that are doing this already. You can see their ads, their landing page, their products, and more. There's lots of different tools out there. I know Nick's unit talks a lot more about competitive intelligence. Um, he's a competitive intelligence expert expert out there and what you can do is go and onto the web, sign on their mailing list, see what kind of mail you, they get you, see see how they start remarketing to you. See, you know, if you if you want to go and buy a product, see what the packaging looks like, see what the experience is like as a customer, and then find ways that you can kind of either yeah, create an angle on that on that experience that's that's better and more preferable, or or just a different angle that hits a slightly different audience in a slightly different way. But all, there's a lot of people that are doing this stuff successfully and you can figure out how and do it yourself by reverse engineering it. So uh, another part of the iStack blueprint is to create a huge amount of content. You can see we're doing these webinars, we've done these live events. Uh, you, you, you research existing communities around your niche on Reddit, on YouTube, on Facebook. You see what the conversations people are having, you see what their pain points are, you see what they're proud about, you see what kind of products they're interested in. Uh, and then it, it, once you actually start running uh, stuff, you're able to create your own Facebook groups, which is a strategy that I know Mo has employed and Nick has employed, we've employed as well. You create a community um, and that you provide value to that community. And not only are you going to get way more eyeballs on your brand because uh, Facebook prioritizes Facebook groups in a really great way, uh, you're going to be able to get more and more people engaging with your brand and you're going to learn more and more about your audience. And especially if you produce valuable content on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, you put that kind of stuff out there, you're going to see how people react to it and it's going to help inform uh, 
uh, your product selection and your advertising, and it's gonna allow you to make offers to audiences that you know that they'll love. Uh, so, so when it comes to iStack, let's talk about iStack and what we've done in the year and a half. We focused on a passion niche, entrepreneurs, affiliates, dropshippers, self-improvers, people that are leveraging performance marketing, these online trends to change their lives. That's our passion niche. And our product and strategy is a hybrid model. We have online courses at courses.isactrain.com if you want to check them out. Uh, we have live events, we have masterminds, we have merchandise coming soon. Uh, so we're able to sell all sorts of different kinds of products to our audiences at a diverse set of price points. Um, and, that's, and that allows us to see what works best. When it came to community and competitive research, we started on STM, which is where our, the base of our community is, where we have thousands of members. Each of them is telling us what kind of stuff they want to learn, tells us all about their pain points and struggles. Then we went out to Udemy and Linda and Max Finn and Smart Marketer and ClickFunnels. All of these different places were companies that were already selling e-products to our audience. And we went in, Digital Marketer, Ryan Dice's Digital Marketer was another one. And we went in, signed up for these products, see how they operated, see what their funnels looked like. And we've been trying to emulate and improve on them with our specific focus, which is right now e-commerce. Of course, my podcast is an incredible competitive research tool. I have these high level conversations with huge marketers. I got Neil Patel, I got Ezra Firestone. I'm gonna have Ryan Dice on soon. I'm gonna have, soon I'll have Joe Rogan. That's my big goal is to have Joe Rogan. Uh, and I'm gonna learn all about how, how they built their podcast, how they built their businesses, do all this incredible kind of uh, competitive intelligence, which is which is what we recommend. And then when it comes to content, produce valuable content that people love, like my podcast, the infographics, the case studies, the free training mini course that we just put up, the webinars, our Instagram page, our Facebook group. All of this stuff is designed to provide value to our core audience, which is everyone who's on this podcast or everyone who's on this webinar, uh, so that by the time we have an offer ready to go, uh, that you guys are primed and ready, you recognize our value, and you're and, and you're you're ready. So what did the blueprint get us? So we did 15 courses, five sold out events. Uh, we've done seven figures in revenue in our first year and growing. Uh, we have a very healthy net margin, which is great. A great thing about e-products essentially is the margin that you're able to create. We've built an incredible brand. People know and recognize our brand everywhere I go, every conference I go to. I have dozens and dozens of people come up to me, tell me they love my podcast, tell me they love what we're doing with iStack Training. It's amazing, but it's also a huge investment that we've made into building the industry leading education brand for digital marketers. That's basically what we've been doing and it's been great. As a YouTube follow, YouTube's kind of growing slowly and organically. But we have over a million views of our content on YouTube, which is great. Our average view time on YouTube is like 10 minutes. It's incredible, like that's insane. We have people watching 10 minutes. We have people watching the full hour. A lot of people watch the full hour of the podcast, but on average, 10 minutes of view time. We have 10,000 Facebook fans where we put most of our effort right now. Uh, and we have over 15 million audience members reached. We have millions and millions, we have over 10 million views of our content. Uh, it's it's just absolutely fantastic. So this is what happens when you're able to leverage, uh, you're able to do the right competitive intelligence, you're able to pick a, a, a sort of hybrid model that allows you to sell multiple kind of products to a niche audience, to a passion audience. And this is the all-star blueprint that we recommend to get started with e-commerce if you haven't. And Nick Peroni's course goes into a lot more depth on that. So here we go. Now you've got a chance to taste how valuable the knowledge that we bring to the table with ISAC training from our mini course, our infographics and our, our network, our mentors that we bring to the table. We've covered the three key skills you need to get started profitably and scale your e-commerce store uh, uh, from strategy to Facebook ads to Google Analytics and knowing your numbers. Uh, you've learned the three limiting beliefs you need to change to transform your success, uh, which is dropshipping is still crazy possible. Uh, everyone's doing it or a lot of people are doing it. I met dozens of people who just started in the last few months uh, at our conference in Barcelona. You learned that creative is the biggest part of Facebook uh, advertising, 90% of Facebook advertising, and then the 10% is not genius and not hacks necessarily, it's mass systematic testing with a really strong background on how to do that, uh, which is what we teach in our course as well. And Demetrius came in and said, if you don't know your numbers, you're just doing a hobby, not a business. And so these are the three main misconceptions you need to blow up if you wanna build massive e-commerce success. You've also learned my personal strategy for e-commerce success, uh, we're about to launch our own store with these uh, these amazing hats that you're about to get. Uh, if you stick around to the end here. And okay, so what if you had this opportunity to master an incredibly valuable set of skills? I think about the skills that I've mastered over the past year with Facebook ads and Shopify and ClickFunnels and email writing, copywriting, uh, all these different things, um, Oberlo and AliExpress. 
uh, managing the, the, the drop shipping stuff. Imagine you had financial freedom. Imagine you were making tens of thousands of dollars a week or hundreds of thousands a month, millions a month in some cases. Imagine the financial freedom that you had in that case. Imagine you could live life on your own terms. You weren't relying on an employer to give you a 5% raise every year when inflation was 30% every year. Uh, imagine these were your opportunities. Now, the e-commerce dream is happening all over the world right now for hundreds of thousands of people, and it can happen for you, but you have to be able to take action, and you have to have the right guidance and support network, which is what we're all about here at iStack Training. So, if I were to be able to say to you guys, okay, I had an offer that I was able to, 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 to put out. I put together a dream course where we broke down the e-commerce journey into six parts. We went out and got the best possible teachers for each part, if I had an offer like that, would it be okay with you guys if I made it to you right now? I hope so, because I'm about to. You know, we, We've been on this for an hour, and I want to just let you know that, that there is an offer coming here. Uh, I'm really excited to share it with you, uh, and let's just play this awesome video. It's a minute-long video. Oh no. Okay, just realized you guys can't hear the volume on this, so I'm gonna link you to that video, but essentially it tells you the philosophy of the course, which is six all-stars, six amazing um, parts of the e-commerce journey, all broken down into a, a full course. Um, so let's move along here. Here's what you're gonna get with the e-commerce all-star training. Uh, you're gonna get Nick Peroni's e-commerce startup strategy. Uh, you're gonna get, uh, so you learn how to build your, your store. You're gonna learn how to build an amazing holistic strategy. You're gonna find an audience, find amazing products and test Facebook ads and profit. That's what Nick Peroni's lesson basically does. It's the ultimate, if this course was just that one course, it would be enough to get you all started. He's, he launched a thousand people with the course that he created on e-commerce empires over the past couple of years. This course is an update to that and takes into account all that he's learned between now and then, and it's an amazing opportunity. Then on top of that, you're gonna get Ben Malal's seven figure Facebook guide for e-commerce. Step by step, exactly how to set up, test, run, scale, optimize Facebook ads. He's got a five hour case study, or a five hour course plus a case study. Nick's course, by the way, is over 10 hours of amazing content that he's put together on exactly how to get started. Um, then we got Demetrius's uh, Know Your Numbers, Google AdWords and Analytics. So not only is he covering Google Analytics, which we talked about here, he's also doing Google AdWords, which is uh, the way that you can learn all your key metrics for your e-commerce store, exactly how to set up and optimize your analytics account, uh, as well as how to run AdWords. It's a five hour course plus case study as well. So all of that, so, so easily, you know, we've run 15 different courses and I can tell you that each of those courses could be valued at $2,000. There's no, you know, we would have no problem selling those courses for $2,000, but what we wanted to do was create a package that had so much value for so many people that we could bring it to a whole new level, which is why we involved all these, these all-stars. So basically that course would be worth about $6,000 and it would be totally worth it if you were to pay $6,000 for this content because it has Nick's incredible content of how to find a market niche, how to evaluate a product, how to sell into worldwide countries, how to leverage uh, conversion rate optimization as a marketing strategy, your exact ad testing strategy you wanna run. You can see the outline right here uh, on our website, which I'm about to tell you in a second here, but it shows you how to pick niches, how to validate niches, how to select products, you know, how to how to advance your, your, your e-commerce in order so you're moving beyond AliExpress fulfillment into new other things. So for a $2,000 value, this course would be worth it on its own. So you're gonna get these three amazing units which would have a value of about $6,000, but we're not gonna charge $6,000, I'll tell you that. Uh, so you got Ben Malal's course here where he covers A to Z blueprint on how to get started with Facebook ads, how to run Facebook ads, how to optimize, and then how to scale Facebook ads. You can see he's got, an, like this is a fully in-depth course on exactly how to run Facebook ads for e-commerce specifically. Again, Ben created a course about a year and a half ago. This is a complete update on, that includes all the different changes on Facebook ads. Uh, that is super essential. Uh, so you get these three amazing units. You get Demetrius's unit on exactly how to think about Google Analytics, how to run Google Analytics, how to run Google AdWords. 
It's a five hour course plus a case study from Demetrius. You can see his uh, outline right here. So if these three master classes were what we were selling you and, uh, and we were selling you them for $6,000, if you think about it, if you got one successful product, if you would, if you employ these three cohesive units, uh, step by step, how to get started, how to run Facebook ads, how to monitor your key metrics, six thousand dollars would be totally worth it. You could make that back in less than a week's time, uh, no problem. Once you're up and running at scale, so if that was the price, it would be totally worth it. This, but this course isn't just for e-commerce strategy and execution. The cool thing about this course is it provides you those three units that allow you to get fully started fully up and running, but then we provided three units that really allow the gas to be put on to your uh, your campaigns and your, your enterprises here. So you've got your three master level classes for $6,000. Then we throw on Greta Van Reels, eight figure influencer marketing. You can learn how to approach, set up, track, scale, and optimize influencer marketing campaigns. This is the only course of its kind. It's ne nothing like this has ever been made before. Influencer marketing is such a new field that there's no definitive resource on it. And this course is it. I'll tell you, this course could sell for the full price of, of this course. We have it here at $2,000. It could easily sell for more. We have a ton of interest in this one. Uh, hers is over five hours and she's got three eight figure case studies as part of it. She's one of the top influencer marketers in the world. Then we got Muhammad Ali Gell that we're throwing on here as well. And he's doing a course, again, one that hasn't really been built before, one that focuses on conversion funnels, how to drive higher average order value uh, and conversion rate using special apps in your, in your Shopify store like Zipify, how to use click funnels. Once you have single products that you know are working well, how to build click funnels in order to scale those products to massive heights using single product funnels. Again, this is a five hour plus course that he's providing. Then the granddaddy of this course, uh, the crown jewel, is Nick Shackelford's advanced customer acquisition retention and frequency. So this is Nick Shackelford runs eight figure brands. He, he's, he's marketed for Apple and Pepsi. He's launched his own e-commerce brands. He launched the fidget spinner crates and launched that to eight figures. He is on the front lines of hardcore Facebook advertising. Uh, and he's teaching a lesson on not only how to acquire customers, but how to bring them back again and again. This is another five hour lesson. This is probably one of the highest level Facebook marketing courses out there. If, you, if you're an expert who's stuck around till the end of this, of, of this webinar, you need to know that this particular course uh, uh, you know, will make it worth your while. There is no other higher level Facebook course that has been created out there. And the best part is if you're a beginner, by the time you get to this course, you will be ready for it as well. You will have Ben Malal's foundational course on Facebook ads. So by the time it gets to Nick Shackelford's advanced stuff on how to scale things from six or seven all the way to eight figures, you'll be ready for it and, and fully ready to grow. And that's why we built this course the way we did. We built it so that you would have your foundational skills and that you'd have your more advanced skills as well. So imagine we were selling all six of these units for $12,000. Imagine that uh, $12,000, uh, you get Greta's first of its kind um, influencer marketing course, you get Muhammad Ali's first of its kind uh, funnel, conversion funnel based course, and you get Nick Shackelford's first of its kind advanced uh, customer acquisition retention and frequency uh, course. These would be worth it all on their own. But you're gonna get the first three master level, master level guides on the three key skills you need to create a successful e-commerce empire, all top of industry experts. You're gonna get the three acceleration units, which are again, five hour units in their own rights uh, that will allow you to take things to that totally next level. So that price would be $12,000 and at $12,000, it would be worth it. If you think about it, you'd be starting your business, getting it to six or seven figures, you'd be scaling it from seven or eight figures perhaps. So a $12,000 investment would be nothing in the grand scheme of you making millions in a year. It would be totally worth it. If you're humming along, maybe you've got a few products now, maybe you're building a brand and your people are loving it. You're building up content. You're fine. You're leveraging uh, single product funnels from Mo. You're using influencers in your fledgling brand. You, you're, you're remarketing to people using the invisible architecture that Nick Shackelford talks a lot about. $12,000 would be a hundred percent worth it. You would not only be getting these six courses, you also getting a private Facebook community, one year access with expert mods, all-star mentors, fresh case studies, and we'd be doing a six part Ask Me Anything series with each of the all-stars. So if you think about that cool guy in the middle there, uh, being surrounded by six of the best mentors in this entire industry, uh, we have that valued at 97 bucks a month, it could be easily more, uh, but you're getting that included as a one year membership to this amazing private group that we're creating. So let's, let's say that's about $1,000. Here's a look at what the private community will look like. So you're gonna get the first three master guides. You're gonna get the second three guides that take it to the next level. So we're already well 
uh, close to $12,000. That's 30, over 35 hours of the most cutting edge e-commerce training ever made. You're gonna get access to our private group stocked with mentors, mods, case studies, ask me anything. So we're over at $13,000 right now. $13,000 would be worth it. Now, let's get into the bonuses. Bonus one, Ezra Firestone's essential e-commerce email. He's agreed to make a course just for iStack training. Uh, we're super excited about it. It's all about the 12 part post purchase sequence that generates the highest AOV and the most upsells, cross sells and reviews. Uh, that's all you need with email. You need to know what that key post purchase sequence is. Uh, he's gonna show you how to design email so that they get clicked, how you should send, why you should send more than you think and the exact email strategy you should employ plus more. If we're gonna do email, then we have to do messenger marketing. So I went out and found the best possible messenger marketing teacher. This guy, Seth Smith, multiple seven figure drop shipping store builder. He's harnessed the power of many chat and, and messenger marketing in order to build a custom platform that's specifically designed for e-commerce people. He's gonna show you exactly how to use it. He's gonna do a three part different messenger case study. He's gonna show you all the different kinds of automations that you need to make messenger work for you. And it's really like a new kind of edge. If you can master messenger marketing within e-commerce, along with all these other skills, you're pretty much set. So here's what you're gonna get. The three masterclass guides, seven figure e-com all-stars explain step-by-step -step how to start and scale incredible e-commerce businesses. You're gonna get the three additional advanced modules on influencer marketing, conversion funnels, and advanced consumer, customer acquisition, retention, frequency to help scale your business to that next level. That's over 35 hours, the most cutting edge e-commerce training ever made. You're gonna get access to our private community stocked with all-star mentors. You're gonna get bonus module one, Ezra Firestone. You're gonna get bonus module two, Seth Smith's uh, messenger marketing for e-commerce. So where are we at now? $13,740. Now, no matter where you are in your journey, whether you're a dreamer, you're a castaway, or you're an expert, these learnings are just to take you from where you are to where you wanna go. Really simple. Maybe that should've been the webinar. Where do you wanna go? Where are you now? Where do you wanna go? This course will get you there. That's it, bottom line, no matter where you are. So whether it's in startup strategy, Facebook ads, Google Analytics or AdWords, influencers, conversion funnels, uh, or remarketing, an e-commerce e company that has mastered, let's say three, or let's say four or five, or all six of these incredible skills, seven or eight when you count email and messenger marketing, if you were to ma master any number of these skills, especially the first three or the last three, all six, you would be fully unstoppable. You would generate millions in profit in a year. Seriously, if you mastered the, think about it, we, we not only, we didn't just do a course with one person with one set of expertise. We did a course with six people where they gave the very best what their highest value learning was for each of their topics. Now, if you could be the best at all six of those things by learning from the best, think about how good you would be as an e-commerce marketer. That would mean millions in profit for a year or billions over a lifetime, which is seriously possible in the scale of the world that we live in now. Okay, so we're at $13,740. We're not gonna charge you $13,740. Our course sells for $2,997 uh, and spots are limited. So go to that link right there, istack.link slash allstar. You can take a look at our sales page. We are standing by to answer questions for you. Uh, you've got your six masterclass levels. You've got your one, sh one year mem uh, membership in our private group. We've got six all-star classroom sessions that'll happen in that group. You've got your two bonus modules on email marketing and messenger marketing. This is easily the highest value e-commerce training that has ever been produced. Nothing has ever been attempted like this. I'll tell you, working with six millionaires, uh, like high level millionaires on this course, getting their content, launching a presentation, launching their, their, their live talk, it has been an incredible labor of love, um, but I'm super happy about it. Like I said, nothing like this has ever been made um, and for the first 10 action takers, if you're on this webinar, the first 10 action takers on this webinar are going to get a huge bonus package. So not only will you get the replays from our live event that we just did in Barcelona, valued at about 300 bucks, we are going to give the first 10 people that plus tickets to our next event in Bangkok. If you can't make it to Bangkok, uh, we'll give you the replay of that event as well, or we could push it to our next event, which will be in Barcelona next year around this time. Uh, so you get a ticket to one of our future events if you come. If you can't travel, uh, then we'll give you the replay of, of, of the course, of, of whichever other one you want. Uh, and then you also get one of these sick Isaac training hats, uh, which is great. So that's a $1,000 value times 10. So it's $10,000 value that we're giving away just for the live webinar watchers who are able to take action at isaac.link slash allstar uh, right now, basically. So we're waiting. Or we are standing by for these sales to start coming through. Uh, of this amazing opportunity at istack.link slash allstar, 
$13,000, almost $14,000 value that we're selling for $3,000. Uh, it's the highest value e-commerce training ever produced. Uh, this course will never be offered again in this, you know, we're launching this course. Um, this course launches August 7th. And once it launches, it will not be available uh, anymore uh, in this format. We will not be selling all six of these units put together for this price. I can tell you this is the best price you will ever get um, on, uh, on, on this course package for the beginner, the, th the first three units and the last three units. Nothing will ever come close to this price that we're offering right now. So make sure we only have a couple hundred spots on this. We've already sold a bunch. Um, so make sure that if you want in on this, you don't delay. You go to istack.link slash allstar as soon as possible. Uh, if you only got Greta's course. So Greta, again, the standalone course on influencer marketing, nothing like it out there. If you only got Greta's course for this price, it would be worth it. And in the future, we might just sell Greta's course at this price. You will never have an opportunity to get this much training uh, that you own for your life. Once you buy it here, it's yours to own forever. Uh, you can reference it anytime on our platform, all six of these units, all eight of the units when you count the bonus units. Never again will we offer this much value in one course. Uh, so do not delay. iStack.link slash allstar. The spots are limited. Go to that domain right there. Here's what the checkout page look, look, looks like. Use PayPal, revert, reserve your seat now. The training begins on August 7th. That's when the course actually launches. But if you want to take action, if you want to take advantage of the replays, the live event, the hack, all that fun stuff, make sure you act quickly because those 10 spots are already gone. We've already had a few sales come through, which is fantastic. Uh, and so if you want to get those bonuses, do not delay, act right now. Now, I wanted to ask if, if you had, if there was any questions, if we could take a um, with Nick and the team. Let me just see if there's any questions that are outstanding here. It's getting a little, it's, I don't know where, where you guys are in the world right now, but it's crazy. Check, check, check. All right, let's just change. Okay, was I muted that whole time? Nice, well, we have some questions here. Um, let's see, did I? Very good. Yeah, that's right. Ezra sells his email course on Smart Marketer for $1,500, and here it's getting added as a bonus. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just see if we've got any questions here. We've got uh, Nick on as well. So let's see. We've got um, – I'm really excited and have created my first Shopify store. My biggest concern is spending money on Facebook ads. What apps are must-haves? Uh, Nick, what do you recommend if you're – still? Uh, if, Nick can jump on and make his mic active. Nick, what are some apps that you think are must-haves to operate with your Shopify store? I would say depending on your strategy, I think uh, if you're going to operate with the, the hybrid model that we talked about, I think you should have uh, Oberlo. I think Oberlo is, is sort of the best drop shipping app there is. Um, and I think uh, I, I'm a big fan of Printful when it comes to um, – when it comes to print-on-demand apps, so I think that would be another one to have. Uh, one that Mo talks a lot about is Zipify when it comes to um, creating uh, upsells and pre-sells, ways to, to raise your, your average order value. So those are three that I think are, are absolutely essential, along with obviously Facebook ads and Google Analytics. I think those are some of the most important ones. What else here? Uh, we've got someone should be familiar with installing and tracking but I couldn't find a way to do that just part without a landing page. Can you tell me the easiest way to get the prerequisites for the course? By the way, in this case, we're going to be using Shopify as your landing page most of the time, right? So I'm a little confused by your question there, Aaron, if you want to maybe rephrase that. Uh, what percentage of the sales are profits? I'm not sure what that refers to. Um, but uh, nice. Okay. Which apps are needed to create a professional store? I'm going to let um, maybe Nick handle that one in a second. Can you show the e-commerce all-star blueprint one more time? I will send everyone here these slides if, if they want it. So we'll make sure um, we'll make sure that everyone gets these slides if they want. Susanna says this is gold. Thank you very much. 
Um, yeah, we will we will share the ISEX, the, the, the Slack slides here. Um, yeah, we recommend a passion. I recommend a passion niche store. That, I think that's the, the, the most uh, like one of the best ways to start uh, in this business. You share again the Facebook. So the Facebook's name is e-commerce all-star secret. So if you search that, um, you should be able to find it. If not, um, you should be, we, we will send out an email. You check your email. We definitely emailed you about it. Uh, the sound. Okay. I think we're all good. Um, why are all courses ending in 97? I don't know. That's just something we decided to do a while ago. Uh, that's just how we, how we price things. I don't know exactly why, but that's just what we've always done. So that's what we do. Um, nice. Okay. So, um, let's talk a little bit about Nick Shackelford's course here. Like if you only got Nick Shackelford's course, this course would be worth it uh, at $3,000. This guy is one of the highest level Facebook advertising, um, marketers today. He's never put something together with this much. Uh, of his his high level tactics in there. So if it was just this one course, it would be amazing. Um, let's go back to some questions here. So many here. What apps are needed to create a professional source? Shopify, Oberlo, Printful. Uh, those are some big ones. Does the three times CPA rule apply if you've got very tight ads budgets? Um, it's it's the rule of thumb. It's it's what we like to say is the rule of thumb uh, for testing. And, and I know people are starting starting with very tight budgets, uh, but but that's that's what we like to say. So if you if you can't do three times, do do two times for your budget, um, and depending on on the product you're you're trying to sell. But the bottom you will need um, some you know you you will need to invest in this. Uh, in, in your store, there's no two ways about that. You will need to you will need to invest to to make a go of this, um, and and so you can't you can't get by with with zero investment. We say between one and three thousand dollars is what you need to kind of get into the game, literally, um, when it comes to spending on ads, spending on your store. Um, that's what we that's what we recommend. I think you can, yes, you can start with the uh, basic Shopify plan, and you can test multiple stores. Yeah. I think you should start with the first tier and build up to it. This is being recorded, correct? Um, and when it comes to registering companies, I'm not the biggest expert for that. Uh, I, you know, we we're registered in Hong Kong as iStack. Actually, I think in the U.S., uh, Delaware is is definitely a good suggestion. It's one of the places that allows you to do it as a non-U.S. citizen. Um, I'm not exactly sure the pros and cons versus a place like Hong Kong and Delaware. Um, so that's something you'd have to take up with a bit more of an expert there. Um, I will send the slides for the e-commerce all-star blueprint for everyone one more time. Uh, the group name is e-commerce all-stars. Yeah, David, Ezra's course sells for $1,500 and he's giving us uh, a condensed version. His, his is only going to be an hour or two hours long. Um, but this is the dream course. Thank you, Susanna. I hope you take us up on it. Uh, yeah. It's a pretty awesome deal, although Nas can't afford it. Um, let's see. The Bangkok event is in December. December should be, I think, December 5th or 6th. We haven't actually nailed the date down entirely. Ade is considering it. Very nice. Violetta is wishing. Uh, Ade says hello. And a chance I could win the course. Uh, there won't be a giveaway of the complete course. Uh, we, we, we like. Like we say, this value that we've added on here is, uh, you know, just maximum amount we could. So we won't be discounting, or this will be the cheapest you'll ever be able to get this course for. I can tell you that. Um, this course will be available until August seventh. That's when the course launches, and that's when sales close. Uh, if you want to take us advantage, take advantage of all the bonus stuff that is basically over the next hour. If you want this amazing bonus stuff, you have one hour to act on that. The course will be. Uh, available um, until August 7th. That's your last time. Now, if you're still on the webinar and you want a hat, congratulations, you've made it. Uh, that's fantastic. There's 93 people here. So if you send an email to team at istacktraining.com, we'll sort you out. We're going to create um, a, a lead generation form so we can get your address, your phone number, a bunch of stuff uh, that we'll do in order to, to be able to send you that hat. But if you guys are still here, congratulations. You made it to the hat territory so you guys can be fresh 
fresh to death like me, super hot in here. Uh, but we'll let you know we have the we have a black version and a white version. We'll be able to send you one of these too. So we really appreciate uh, you doing that. Uh, send an email to team at iStackTraining.com and let us know in the next 30 minutes and let us know uh, that you were uh, on this webinar until the bitter end. So thank you very much. Uh, Ade, you bought earlier. We will include the bonuses for you. I want to thank you for being an early bird on the course. Uh, one of the many people who bought early. Uh, so we will make sure we include these bonuses for you as well. Um, uh, Sarver has 100 bucks. What should I do? Uh, good question. Uh, with 100 bucks, it's not going to be enough to get started. You're not going to be enough to get the courses, and it's not going to be enough to uh, to launch your, your e-com empire basically with 100 bucks. So you're going to have to save up, save up some money. Um, let's see. Hey Nick, is it not advised to go into the saturated niches? Um, Nick, can you talk a little bit about uh, the saturated niches? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. And yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so, you know, saturation, like, it's, uh, it's kind of, there's a fine line there of understanding, I think, you know, because it's, it's, there's a difference between looking at, say, something that, is saturated as a product like some of these drop shipping products we see the copycat type of uh, industry that it's become in a large way where you see a big store launch a product and then everybody else jumps on board and tries to launch the same product and eventually that product is going to reach a point of saturation with the audience and the audience is just not going to want it anymore but in terms of actual niches you know when you think about Big niches, which uh, which is what I'm assuming this question is based on, like the pets niche or the family niche or hobbies and interests like nurses and engineers and veterans or, you know, home and garden or kitchen and dining. Like these are, of course, really, really large categories. And it may seem to some that the idea here is that, oh, because they're so large and so many people are selling already that it's saturated. But uh, and in my opinion and in my own evidence and in my own networking and, and just experience, uh, you want to actually look at where the largest categories are, especially when you're getting started, because these are places, you know, that people are spending money. And what we try to do as marketers, and, and this is something that I learned years ago that, that changed my entire perspective. What we try to do as marketers is not think of ourselves as competing with others but looking for the large market opportunities and trying to find ways that we can create opportunity for ourselves. So instead of coming from this place of just copying and competing, where it becomes really difficult because you're in a mindset of always looking at what somebody else is doing and trying to do the same thing, you are going into big market opportunities and you're trying to find ways that you can be different and you can be creative. Uh, and of course, we use market research to see what our competitors are doing, but we use that research not only to model what's working, but also to find ways that we can be different. And I think that is really the best advice that I could give on that. I know it's served me well, where there's always going to be these massive categories like health and beauty, for example. These are multi-billion dollar industries, but the reality is that no matter how many people start a store this month in health and beauty, there will still be people who start a store next month that will still be able to be profitable and launch profitable businesses that will go on to be success stories because you can always find a new creative angle. There's always new products coming to market, audience segments that you can target. A lot about like what Ben talks about is just understanding how to be creative in in your marketplace and how to really create a story around what you're doing and when it comes to stories there's an infinite number of ways we can all sell the same thing so like in my opinion the saturation is really just kind of a mindset thing and of course there is some real saturation when it comes to specific products but uh, at the same time when you're looking at an industry or a category as a whole i don't really think it's about saturation i think it's just about creativity and what we do I fully agree when it, you know, there's angles are limitless. Uh, and so when you come up with a really good angle, it, it sort of doesn't again, because it, it's not always the product, it's the story behind the product that you're selling. Uh, and so I, I totally agree there. So 
We've had a few other questions here. So people want to know uh, if the course is live or online. It's a fully online course. You can take it from wherever and whenever you want. Um, we had someone want to know if they could share it with their business partners. Uh, generally, yeah, if, you know, we, we, we do advocate that you, when you, you know, you buy a, a seat per, for the course, but if you want to share it with your key business partner, um, we're, we're okay with that, uh, as well. So you can access this content whenever and wherever you want. Um, and you'll have it for your life. It's once you buy the content, it's yours forever. Um, and so, yeah, you'll definitely get access to it. Uh, is this course going to be available in the future for a different price? We don't know this entirely yet. We know on August 7th it won't be available. And then when we, uh, you know, then then this content might get relaunched, but it, I can tell you it won't, you won't ever get all six of these these courses for this price. Uh, there's no chance. And that and that when we, if we ever were to launch it, but these, any of these courses individually, um, I'll tell you they would be at least, you know, at least $2,000, at least, um, so, so realistically, if you want this content, now is the time to buy it 100%. Uh, so the email for you guys that are still around uh, is team at iStackTrading.com, T-E-A-M at iStackTrading.com. If you send us a note there, we will uh, make note of your, uh, of, of your presence on the email or presence on this webinar and, and make sure that we get out, get out your hat to you. So team at iStackTrading.com. Um, Cool. Aaron had some questions he tried to email, which I will make sure we take a look at. Jant wishes he could afford it. Uh, Chris is in for the hat. That's awesome. Servers 18. Stay the course, man. Just keep your uh, wits about you. Save up, save up your money, and uh, and keep your eye on the price. Keep keep researching. Keep keep like there's so much free information out there that can help you. Um, so many free groups out there that, that can help you as well. So just continue to build your knowledge base and save some cash for when you're able to make an investment. Um, yeah, so how much money do we need to have apart from spending on the course for ads and tools, Shopify and other platforms? Um, Nick, what's your experience on that particular topic? My, my estimation is, you know, the more the better, obviously. Um, but between one and three thousand dollars seems like a, a good answer for for being able to test and find. What's been your experience with that? Yeah, I agree, uh, and I'd actually like to go a little in depth on this question because I see that it's been commented a few times. Questions like startup and and and, and affording the course and you know this and that. So uh, number one, yes, total investment into e-commerce. I would say that you you want to have at least a thousand to three thousand. I think that's a good number. I usually actually say right around two thousand dollars because not only do you want to have money to invest in ads for testing, right? And that's not to say that you'll spend all that money before you find a winner because some people find it quicker than others, but you want to have a comfortable amount of money to be able to test ads. And you're also going to need money to float your fulfillment, right? Because you are going to get paid up front. But when you first get started, that, that money takes sometimes time to process through Shopify payments. Like it takes a couple of days and, uh, you know, depending on where you might be, if you're an international seller, then it might even take you more like a week to get that payout because you got to transfer it through a wallet and this and that. So like you definitely want to have a little bit of a, a comfort zone there to be able to invest. And, you know, for anybody that may be looking at it and they're like, oh, you know, I just I don't know if I can get it. Like, you know, like Eric already said, just just save save money and, and keep like keep working. I, I always get this question. People are like, well, how do you know, like people talk about a, a certain startup amount. And, you know, the reality is when I got started and I invested in a course, I invested in multiple things over the years. But like if I pinpointed to an exact moment where I invested in a course, I had about three thousand dollars to start. I put a little over two thousand dollars into investing into a course. And I was still like working at the time. Right. Like you, you need to have something there to uh, not only support yourself, but like to really be able to actually make the investment worth it. So whether you have it all right now or whether you need to find something to support yourself while you're investing in this, you know, either strategy works. But something like this, for sure, if you if you think about just realistically in terms of the type of businesses you're investing in here, the type of 
type of potential that's possible for scale. Literally, even if you don't go on to be a seven-figure success story and you just manage to do six figures, which is very realistic. If you don't think that's realistic and you're on this webinar, you really need to go like read the science of getting rich or you know, like think and grow rich and, and invest in your mindset because doing six figures even over the rest of this year with this type of information is very realistic and very possible, especially considering Q4. Some people do multiple six figures just in the span of a couple weeks when it hits Q4 time. So like you, you have to think about what you're investing in here. Uh, yes, the course is going to be the $3,000. And then yes, there's going to be money that you also need, probably additionally one to 3000 that you have. Uh, which you don't necessarily need right away, but you just need to know that the money is there, like that you have the finances there to be able to support getting this business up and started and running. Uh, and think about the fact that, you know, you're, you're literally being handed the keys right now to a seven and even eight figure business model um, for what you're investing in. So, you know, yes, it does. And not everybody on this might be able to just say, yeah, right now I have three grand to put into the course and that's fine. You know, find the money or, or work and, you know, get the money and you have time before this launch closes. But the reality is uh, you are going to need to have some investment here, some money to put into this. And compared to compared to like college or compared to starting a traditional business, like the, the potential here is just massive. So, um, you know, that's kind of my long winded answer on this. But I think it's a really important mindset topic just to go over with anybody that's on here still. I see we still have almost 100 people watching and probably considering this and, and where they're at with this. So I would really try to think about it from that perspective. Eric, we can't hear you right now. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I totally agree with what you're saying there, Nick. Um, but I wanted to do. I wanted to let you know one other thing here. This course does have what we call a money back guarantee, essentially. So, if it, when you offer online courses, it's important that you let people know that if the course isn't what they're expecting, and if they take the action that you request of them. So basically, like. If you take this course in its entirety, if you take the suggested actions that we make at the end of each lesson, if you reach out on our private group that you're gonna get, if you attend our live Facebook, Facebook coaching ses sessions, if you feel you weren't able to get your money's worth from this purchase, uh, in, honestly, in all honesty, we'll do a call, and if, and if it really is not what you're anticipating, which, which we really don't have, have any uh, worry that it, that it won't be, uh, we will refund your purchase. So if you're wondering, uh, about making this purchase and and whether or not if it's not for you you can get your money back the answer is yes we do offer a money back guarantee which we think is really important when we offer this kind of stuff but again we're very confident in the product we've created here so uh, i'm not not super concerned about that um so ernest epps great guy he recommends dropify yeah dropify is good too um they're very similar products uh, i don't i've only used oberlo actually so i don't know the ins and outs of oberlo versus dropify necessarily but they're all good products and you, you can make them work basically. Um, so let's see. Yeah, Indra, you're right. You couldn't see, you can see my Slack. Oh geez. Slack again. Um, but, uh, but nice. We've got a bunch of cool people still on this. We've got an inventor. We've got Aaron, who's an inventor he is over two containers of a product. He knows his demographic and psychic psychographic and us patent will be granted in 30 days. That's super exciting, Aaron. Uh, it sounds like that's a more traditional way to get into e-commerce there by owning the product, but I think you'll, uh, I think you know this content would be an amazing way to help you help you uh, handle the marketing aspect of it, help you handle uh, the the Facebook ads aspect of it as well. Um, so I want we want to take a look at your pre-launch checklist now. So say you're um, you're looking on what you need to, to, to get started with this course. Do you have at least $1,000, 1,000 to 3,000 in test funds to use on campaigns to actually put things in motion? Do you have the drive? Do you have the motivation to get started with e-commerce entrepreneurship? Are you actually willing to take action? Not only take in all the content, but actually take action, sign up for Shopify, sign up for a few apps, start testing products. Are you willing to actually take those steps? Uh, if you are, then this course is gonna be a good investment for you. I guarantee it. Uh, so go to istack.link slash allstar. Uh, we've already had a few people hit us up on uh, on intercom here, a few few purchases, which is awesome. Um, 
Let's see here. What else do we have in store on this? So this is an interesting one. This is like, that's almost like an, a picture of me, the first guy, uh, while I was working uh, at my last job, which I, I, had, I had exited a startup and I was sort of, I was working as a marketing director at a company that was growing, but, um, but it was just sort of like, it wasn't a very inspiring job. It wasn't, uh, I, I wasn't inspired to like, I didn't have a lot of fire for what I was doing. Uh, and so I was really sort of on, on the, on the, the edge, basically. I was just sort of, just sort of sitting there. I was not what you'd call an action taker. If you look at the guy on the right, jumping into that, that blue, that blue water there, you know, he's an action taker, you know, that he's willing to take the jump to something, to something special. Uh, and that's what I did basically with iStack training. When I got the opportunity to, to move from a, a position that, that I didn't feel was really going anywhere, that didn't really inspire me, I got the opportunity to start iStack training. And I, it wasn't even really a question. I just, I knew it was an amazing opportunity. And so I just took the leap and I gotta say, I'm super glad I did. Uh, if you are one of these people wondering about whether you should take action uh, or not, you really need to think about the kind of person you wanna be. Uh, do you wanna be someone who lets opportunities pass them by? Or do you want to, to jump in and, and, and take this, this real opportunity um, to join the all-stars in this amazing uh, course that we've put together? Uh, so will this be a live course? This is a question we get a little bit. Will they be interacting with the presenters? So the course is a video course. Uh, you're gonna get access to the 35 plus hours of video training, but then there is a private Facebook group as well. Uh, and that's where you can do a bit more of the interacting. Uh, there's also, like I say, these live classroom sessions which you'll get access to the presenters directly. Each of them will prepare a little presentation. Each of them will take a bunch of questions. Um, we're looking at ways that they can potentially even review um, so, so potentially the stores that you guys are building so that they, you can get feedback uh, at a high level from each of them. So there definitely is an interactive live component to the course. The video courses themselves are recorded, but the community is live. Um, so that's definitely something to, uh, to keep in mind. Uh, yes, you will have access to the updated content of this course in the future. We, will uh, we, we don't have plans right now for ongoing updates to the course, uh, but we will be producing more and more content that will be accessible through the private group. And so you'll get access to all of that. Um, and any updates we do make to the course, you will also get for sure. Um, Sarver, I'm sorry, I have missed what your actual question was there. Um, what advice would you give? So Nick kind of answered what you would give for someone with zero money at the moment. Um, can I try a product with around 120 sales on my Shopify store in ClickFunnels? I, it sort of depends on the price point, but I think that that would be a good number to consider uh, trying a single product funnel for it. ClickFunnels is an incredibly powerful tool and uh, most course would specifically address this, but I think 120 sales uh, would definitely be enough to consider, you know, you could build out a, a ClickFunnels page in a, in a day or a couple hours even. So I don't think there's any real barrier to entry to, to trying that, uh, Asim, so I would definitely consider that. Uh, can you please share one tip for product research? That would be another one maybe for Nick to handle because he's got uh, a lot of experience in, uh, in, in sort of product research. He actually did a talk at ECML about product research. So Nick, what's your top tip for, um, for product research for people? Okay, uh, top tip for product research. Well, I, I mean, it kind of, there's two different types of product research in my opinion, whether we're doing drop shipping or print on demand. So um, I, don't, I don't know which one we're talking about, but I can uh, give a quick tip for both of them, I guess. For, uh, for drop shipping, really, you know, I think that a lot, of, a lot of product research comes down to the mindset of understanding what you're looking for. Okay, and, and we talk a lot in this course. I, I really go in depth with a bunch of different product research methods and actually doing some live product research for the case study store uh, that I built specifically for the training in this course to actually demonstrate what we're doing. So, you know, I, I think with drop shipping, one of the biggest tips that um, I can give, and, and it kind of goes into what we talked about at ECML, is uh, looking for trends before before they happen. All right, a lot of people right now are doing the copycat method. I mentioned this a little bit earlier. And while that can certainly get you some sales, okay, I'm not gonna say that it doesn't work, but where people are finding the most success right now, and what I'm really seeing, again, not, not, not only not only for myself, but uh, people that are doing bigger numbers than me, right? Even people that I'm networking with that are doing much bigger numbers than me, where they are finding their best products 
is they are selling stuff that uh, they're researching ideas and they're finding product ideas out there that are not yet being sold by other people. All right. Because the, the power in when you can create a trend before other people start copying. And of course, there will be some people that are copying. But think about which side you want to be on. Right now, for anybody just getting started, of course, you know, the idea is, yes, you know, you, you want to go and look at places for product ideas and uh, using the tools that are out there. We talked about some of them in the course and looking for trending items that are out there that you can then put on your store and sell and maybe create a unique marketing angle for. And I would say for people that are starting, that's kind of one of the biggest tips. If you find something that's working well out there and it has a really massive audience, right? Looking for mass appeal kind of audiences, then try to create a unique angle to it. Don't just try to sell it the same. Demetrius actually has a great story where he talks about a product that he helped somebody sell uh, that was already a product that was being sold and, and kind of out there already. Uh, and they were able to discover a new audience for it that nobody else was really targeting. And when they discovered a new audience and they recorded their own video and they created their own marketing angle, they were able to blow up with that product and make a ton of sales. So uh, I think that's one thing about, you know, when you're just getting started, right? And I understand it can be a little bit difficult when you're just trying to make money to start the trend. But once you do have some experience and you've been able to start creating good marketing angles on products that are already trending, you really want to start shifting to how can I identify trends and get ahead of them? Um, and there's some ways that you can do that, like with, uh, you know, looking at just doing your market research, right? Um, just looking at things like Google Trends and some sites that are out there um, that we'll talk about in the course. I don't want to give the whole course away, but you know, Google Trends is, is a great resource where you can identify trending things, right? Google's the largest search engine in the world. So you can identify trending things as they're happening, as people start searching about them. And if you're constantly looking and you're constantly dedicated, like kind of keeping your ear to the grindstone, as, as the saying goes, then sometimes you can really find, uh, you can spot those things before they happen and you can get in front of them. Uh, another great way is looking at Amazon. Okay. Amazon movers and shakers. Amazon is its own search engine right? and Amazon movers and shakers is a great place that you can look to identify items that are trending on Amazon that may not be trending in the rest of the drop shipping world yet. And so you can start looking for stuff that isn't necessarily already being sold all over the place. That isn't necessarily already trending and you can create uh, you can create a product page and once it starts selling, you can push that into your own single product funnel. And and this is how some of the biggest people out there that are doing massive numbers in drop shipping are doing it um, by by following that type of mindset, that type of strategy right there. You know, once again, it all comes back to strategy, right? It comes back to how you're approaching what you're doing, how you're thinking about market opportunities and, and what you're trying to sell. Uh, and then with print on demand. Uh, the biggest tip really, and I'll cover this a little bit more in depth in, in the course, is, is just going to Pinterest. Honestly, every print-on-demand expert that I know, um, everybody doing well in print-on-demand, and even myself and my own print-on-demand success has been finding ideas from Pinterest. So um, Pinterest is an amazing resource for print-on-demand, and the reason behind that is because that what works well in print-on-demand is having a strong message that is translated into a good design. All right, and, and we'll cover lots of that stuff more in detail, but uh, hopefully that was a, a really good answer to that question there for you. Can I Thanks. add something here? Can I add something? Yeah. I, I feel a little bit left out, you know, every question is about me. <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just kidding. Like, every uh, everyone, when it's getting started, let me open my webcam too. So you know that I'm here, I'm here and alive. I've been watching every single one of you, and I'm super, super excited for, for this course. One thing that I need to stress, I can't stress out enough right here, is that this is not just another course. And why do you need to invest in a $3,000 course, uh, which, you know, you can, you can go ahead to YouTube or you can go into Facebook groups or there are so many, uh, there are so many other uh, courses that are way cheaper or for free. Because it's for the very first time in the history that you have six people that have a, a super, super huge background on working with stores, we're working with clients, scaling to seven, nine, eight figures, and they have all the data to back it up. And the most amazing thing is that I like to consider ourselves as, and I don't like to talk about myself, but I will talk about me and all the other guys as, um, as an amazing, as an amazing team uh, that we put out more than 35 hours of content is that we think as marketers, 
we don't think as uh, dropshipping as a really, really quick way to make some cash and then move on to the next thing. What you can do about what you can do about this, uh, you can get started by realizing what is your potential, how you can get started, and uh, you have one checklist that you can say, okay, uh, this is amazing. So I built my store. I started doing product research the right way. I've set up my da uh, ads. I deep dive into my numbers and Google Analytics. I see my page speed or my bounce rate. Then how can I increase my average order value with what more teaches? Then how can I tap in into the influencer marketing and Instagram where Greta is amazing? And then obviously hire more advanced Facebook ad strategies from uh, Nick Sackerford. What is really way more important, I think, in this that you really need to you really need to understand it's all about mindset okay some most of the success success stories i've seen from people that information alone is not going to get you go far but if you have the right mindset that you can make things happen that you believe that you're really really close to find that one winning product plus the fact that you need to start thinking as a marketer it will help you come come closer to your dream so it, it doesn't matter if you're just starting out or you have somewhat experience if you started out and lost money and you got discouraged because we've all been there we understand it's not that we were uh, we found money somewhere else and we said okay let's do this drop shipping thing it's literally we've all started literally personally me i had three years ago uh, I was a nine to five employee, but I wanted something more for my life. And, you know, it's not easy for me. It wasn't a course for me. It was a mastermind that I attended and I have to fly 43 hours here from Greece to Mexico and spend $5,000 into that mastermind. For you, it might be that course, which is $3,000. The thing is that if you don't bet, okay, you, you're never going to win. But even if you bet and you decide that, okay, this is the course for me, you need to bet on this course like your whole life depends on it. I've seen so many people, I've sold courses myself in the past, and you go inside, and especially the lower the cost, I've, I've sold courses for $47. And you go inside and you make 800 sales, right? Which is, which is great. And you go and see how many people have logged in inside the course, and you realize that 600 people, 75% of the people, never logged in into the course because they didn't value the course. And I can tell you another thing, like you can find a really, really good information in books, but books, people say that, oh man, it's only like 10 bucks or, or 20 bucks. You can find the same information more laid out in a video course. And I'm so, so confident that this course uh, is going to help you that you will personally have our own attention inside the Facebook group. We will always be there uh, for you to help you and we will hold your hand. You will have to do the work, and this is the this is the part where uh, you need to be involved and you need to be confident. But anytime you need help, all six of us plus Eric plus the whole team in Ice training, we will be there to hold your hand because this is what we do, guys. We really do genuinely uh, do care about your success because the more success stories we create, it's not only about the money. It's about you know helping someone uh, getting success. And last thing for me, you might find you might find people that made like millions of dollars, but you will also might find people who made a, who made a couple of thousand dollars. For me, I have received messages like, "Hey, dude, I made 1.5 million dollars in the past six weeks, and 20% of that was profit." But I have also, which which is amazing, of course. But I have also received we received messages which told me, "Hey, dude." Due to you, I managed to go into a bigger house, or I managed to get to pay my student loans, or uh, I managed to buy my wife uh, a small present, or the new iPhone, or something. It's not always about the hundreds of thousands or the millions. Like, you can change your life. Think about how you can change your life even with an, an extra uh, 20, 30 grand per year. Imagine how can that the 20, 30 grand per month how they could change your life. It's not only about the Lambos, but it's about the freedom that this course can provide. And my bold promise to you, and I know that Eric feels the same and Nick who is on the line here feels the same, that we will be right here to help you. We do, all of us, we do genuinely uh, give, we will give our full attention to you so you can be successful. You will have to do the work, the work but I promise you that we will be right here hand-holding, 
till you become successful. Nice. Yeah, I fully agree. And if you think about it, like if we did offer this course at, at, a, at, a, sm at a much lower price, if we offered it at, at 479 or something like that, then the All-Stars wouldn't be incentivized to continually help people. But the re like we offered this course at a site, you know, obviously the value is there for this price and it, and it ensures that it, that it, that it gives the all-stars the chance to, to, to really help people, um, you know, in a, in a way that makes it worth it for everyone. So that's, that's, that's the reason that the price is $3,000 versus, versus something lower. I think to involve this many people at this level, uh, the price had to be at least that high. It's pretty amazing actually that it is only that price. Um, as, as we've kind of demonstrated here. Lisa had a question. She wanted to know if she'd already bought the ECML replays, if we would refund that amount because she gets it as a bonus for buying the course. Yes, Lisa, if you buy the course, we'll refund um, your ECML purchase and allow you to, yeah, just get the bonus from, from buying the course. Uh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, Nina, you're right. The value of this course is what it should be. Thank you very much. That's, uh, that's awesome. It's also very nice of you to congratulate on building this course. It really was uh, an absolute... Uh, uh, labor of love. Just working with all these great people um, has been a lot of fun. But pulling it all together, uh, pulling the whole funnel together, has been has been a, a really amazing process for sure. Uh, Asim will buy the course. He just needs to sign time to save that money. Um, that's really cool. Um, congratulations. There's so there's a bunch of. Should we start questions? There's just a few more here. We 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 got to get off in about five minutes probably here. So we only have time for a few more questions. Um, should we start testing new products with add to cart or view content or just what sort of clicks we attract on the product ad at Facebook? Nick, do you have an answer to that one? I, I generally, like it depends on, on the budgets that I'm operating with, but I like to start with uh, add to cart and, and, um, and then go into purchase uh, uh, funnels after that. That's generally how we do it. We also, add, we also will run uh, parallel engagement campaigns um, with, uh, in order to drive engagement on, on our ads. Uh, as well, so we get the engagement through engagement campaigns, and then we also uh, will run them on on um, add to cart and purchase as well. Yeah, I think both can work. Um, I, I personally, uh, personally, I usually start with purchase, even on a brand new store, um, just because. So I so to jump back a second, view content is is kind of a, a worthless thing to. to optimized for in my opinion because it's not hard to get link clicks um, add to cart is a great stepping stone when I created my original course I, I talked about optimizing for add to cart first and then moving to purchase um, now I tend to just go for purchase because I, I like to start with purchase but what I have seen um, is that a lot of times if you optimize for purchase, you can get high CPMs. And if you if you go back down and optimize for add to cart instead, you'll see lower CPMs so that you can still be optimizing for a buying intent objective uh, and getting lower CPMs and then work yourself up the funnel once you have enough conversions. So I think both can work. Uh, and also the strategy of running an engagement ad first, I do the same thing. I'll talk about that in the course where I create an engagement ad first, then take the post ID and use that exact same post to then go create the conversion campaign so that will help you with your results as well nice um, okay cool uh, just a few more did you all study marketing like full-on college marketing no Nina I have a film degree I it's funny I studied like I made films but I also like studied the psychology behind films I have a film uh, degree from a Canadian University and then I was a kindergarten teacher and then I went full on into e-commerce, uh, not e-commerce, but entrepreneurship specifically after that. Um, I don't think Nick studied uh, marketing in specific. The, th the, the, the key thing uh, that we want to say too, and, and Demetrius touched on this, is that and I think Demetrius was in school for, to be an accountant, which is interesting as well. Um, all of this stuff, where you li the, the age that we live in now, there's so much opportunity in this digital marketing world that it's just all about taking action. It's all about getting in there, getting some some good guidance and then figuring it out, figuring out what works. You're only gonna, learning will only take you so far, whether it's in college or whether it's through courses like this, you really have to be able to take action and uh, and, and and learn for yourself. And you're, it, you know, once, once you combine good guidance with actually taking action, that's where you're really gonna start seeing results. And and specifically, like I, I, it's, I don't personally recommend people go to school for marketing anymore. I think, I think we live in an era where there's so much amazing knowledge out there available uh, specifically, not how to, you know, not how to to, to go to, you know, the, what they teach in marketing schools, I feel like is like five to 10 years behind the curve.
when it comes to the kind of marketing that we're practicing here and that we're teaching here. So uh, we didn't, uh, I don't think any of us went to school for marketing. I, I, you guys can chime in if you did, but but we did. There's There was another question uh, here uh, about, about whether you, you haven't launched a Shopify store, never done drop shipping, never done Facebook ads. Would this course be beneficial to me? Yes, yes, 100%. Yes, you get you know you get this course, uh, you get lifetime access to this course. So not only do you get these first three units that are exactly what you need in order to get your first sales and start learning the ropes of this stuff, but then you also have lifetime access to the other courses that can help you really take things to that higher level. So uh, that's you're exactly who this course was made for. Uh, so I don't think you need to take a separate course and then take this course. This course will have everything you need. Uh, and then especially when you combine it with the private community that we're giving you access to, the access to the mentors, this course will be everything you need to build your e-commerce empire. That's the most comprehensive course ever created. Um, so yeah, Nina, you're welcome. Uh, great work here. All right, James, yeah, we can accommodate you um, for sure. So, uh, so thanks for sticking around. Um, I think that's probably all we have time for, guys. We're going to be doing another webinar uh, on Friday. So I'm really excited for that. So if you guys have more questions, um, you should come to our webinar on Friday. We're going to be messaging you, retargeting you, many chatting you about that. Uh, so make sure you sign up and attend our next webinar where we'll go over some of this information again, but we'll feature uh, the three uh, eight-figure entrepreneur all-stars. Uh, so thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end. You guys are the true... Uh, the true hat getters. I think I think we had 90 before who were still here when we were giving away the hats, but you guys definitely uh, make sure you email team at istacktraining.com. We'll have you fill out a little form and uh, and we'll get you one of these sweet lids. I guess we got to get them for Nick and Dimitri too because uh, I think, uh, I don't know if they wear hats as much as I do, but uh, but but hopefully they, they can keep the sun off their faces in Greece and, and undisclosed locations in Manila. There's a few questions about VAs. We don't have, we don't have time right now. Um, but we will try to get to these questions on uh, on the webinar on Friday. So make sure you attend that. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming on this. Thanks for being for listening to uh, this this awesome pitch. I really hope you guys have a chance to take us up on this course. Like I say, uh, the rocket ship launches on August seventh, and you will never get an opportunity to get this much value uh, in a single e-commerce course ever again. Uh, and so you really want to make sure you get in under that deadline. Do what you got to do. Uh, and join us on this journey because if you want to take this, the, the, you know, launch yourself into this generational opportunity, you will never have a better opportunity than what we're providing you right now. Uh, and the investment, though it feels like a lot for some, uh, will not be in the grand scheme. If you're able to take action, put this stuff into practice, there's no limit to, to what your earnings can be. Uh, you know, there's no there's no salary that you can't reach. There's no trip you can't take. Uh, there's no lifestyle you can't afford when you're able to, to really um, build out your business. And uh, I, I'm super excited for it. I want to thank uh, Ken Dimitris for coming on. Uh, it's been it's been a great webinar. A, we're, we're up at two and a half hours. It's a doozy. Uh, we will put on the, uh, the full replay for everyone. And again, join us again on Friday where we'll do it all again uh, back from the electrical grid here at iStack Training Headquarters. Okay, cheers everyone. Uh, hit us up at Team and iStack Training with more questions. We'll be uh, we'll be here. Uh, Sarver says, "Bro, don't leave." Sarver, uh, hit me up hit me up on Facebook or or uh, Team at iStack Training .com and we will get you. Uh, my my Instagram username is Eric Allen E R I C A L A N. It should be Dick Picks. I see. I had to get one more Dick joke in there. Uh, thanks very much, Dick D Y C K. Just in case anyone's worried. Uh, but it is Eric Allen. You can hit me up on Instagram. Uh, if you email us at team at istacktraining.com, I'll send you the presentation slides happily. Um, and again, we'll get these hats out to you. Thank you guys so much. Peace and love and e-commerce. Cheers. <laughs>